Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Kepa Tesla. Welcome to episode two of this year's, this period's Sega Saturn Jill run of Resident Evil 1 PAL version. That's a lot of things to say, and I said them. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Good to see you there. Hi, Carter. Hi, sis. Who else is there? <laughs> yeah. So, to make that clear, we're going through Resident Evil 1, uh, depending if I, um, I'll see with John, if we can meet up this Friday to do another episode of Chrono Cross, if not, proceeding with Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, and all the other Resident Evils they made, and that I happen to possess in my closet over here. Uh, and then, sometime in the middle of that, I'll be like, let's do Eternal Darkness, uh, the second run with Chaturga, I think Chaturga is going to be next, or U Uliot, we'll, we can vote if you want. And then back to Resident Evil and Chrono Cross. And we do them. We play what we want, when we want. It's, it's, that's them rules. <laughs> yeah, humanoid. Dr. Hip. How are you doing, Carter? <laughs> Wrong button, huh? Yep. <laughs> so it's A now. Wait, I, I, I could have sworn it's B. <laughs> you said it, man. So here's some news for you, sis, and everyone else who's interested or not. Uh, Lubka, you're, you're a moderator now. As you can see, you have a little thingy there. It's, it's, it's not a big penis. It's just, a, it's just a sword. It's supposed to be like moderator. <laughs> press start button and then press A. Ha! Yeah, there you go. Because you're, you're always there, Lubka. You're there for every stream. So you get all the wonderful... All the wonderful uh, uh, duties of a mod, such as <laughs> delete the bots when they appear and shout out the streamer who just raided me because I'm busy playing a game. All the wonderful things. <laughs> no, thank you for being here all the time for every stream. Okay, some other news. We could have played the demo while this is happening. Some other news. I'm going to say B. Oh, I think it's loading now. Never mind. <laughs> um, I've done a new audio setup. I tweaked my settings, so it should be. I should like. I should. My voice should have better quality now, if nothing else. And uh, let me know if the game's too loud. I gotta readjust all the video game volume now as well. I think I did okay with this game because it's pretty quiet, so it should be you know audible, but not more audible than I am. But you guys let me know if you can't hear me, understand me, whatever. It's so just all the time testing phases. Oh my fucking god, it's Gamut. Hey, good to see you, Gamut. What's up? At work, I'm gonna guess. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, excellent. <laughs> you can sleep on this job, Lupka. Don't worry about it. Oh, good. Well, have a good day at work. As I always say... <laughs> Hope you don't have much work. What was the run button? It's the A. Okay, and B is action. Yeah, that's that's what we're gonna do. So what was I doing here? I was... I almost died. Because <laughs> I was stubborn, didn't want to save. Didn't think there's no... Uh, no auto-aim. In this version. This isn't Director's Cut. This is your regular Western Resident Evil 1. Made harder. So I should take that into account. Now that we're gonna fight Hunters... Please remind me to save occasionally. There's a new, new challenges, new uh, new viewer reward thingies. What are they called? Viewer, yeah, challenges. Viewer rewards and challenges. I said them both, and uh, I didn't mention it last time, but we have some new, as Lupka has noticed and Carter too, <laughs> and uh, one of them is something make me save. Yeah, save save a game. <laughs> Speaking of moderators, I'm being a dick towards... If I'm big, please let me know. <laughs> well, you are pretty direct and not all people like that. So, you know, do with that what you will. Some people appreciate when you're direct with them. Some people get hurt. But it's also about being direct and being conscious of others' feelings. Which I'm sure you're aware of, Carter. 
you're cool. <laughs> and then in the corner she turns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are pretty direct. It's it's rare nowadays, really. A lot of people are, especially in the West, I notice people keep this. I don't know what to call it. It's like polite politeness. It's kind of politeness overload sometimes. <laughs> so yeah, not everybody does that. You got banned from two servers in two... What did you do? <laughs> Gimme beer. Oh, gee, Rick. Yeah, like Lupka here. <laughs> There's no beating about the bush. But we talked about it. I think it was during Silver River. No, during Defiance. Somebody even clipped it. <laughs> Okay, what am I doing? Do I bring the shotgun? I have like six regular grenade bullets. Bazooka. I'm sorry, bazooka grenade bullets. Should I bring the shotgun? Yes, I'm gonna play it safe now. I actually would like to finish the game this time. Do I have the helmet key? Yeah, I do have the helmet key. Those are the things I'll need. Uh, I'll need one more room, one more space. So I'm gonna leave it for now. I know when I'm gonna pick it up. I hope I'm doing something right here. Maybe drop the pistol for now? I think that would be... Ah, oh, fuck it. Fuck it. It just doesn't feel right dropping the pistol yet. But soon. For being polite. How? Oh, that's slow turning. This is an outbreak. Damn. So, unfortunately, David's not going to be with us tonight. I didn't know he's he's not home today. Didn't communicate with him. I was like, it's on the schedule for a week. I'm sure, everybody knows. And then just before I was starting with, maybe I just let him know I'm doing this. I know he would love to see it. And turns out he's not home. But we already started. There's no going back. That's why we have YouTube. It's true about you. <laughs> or so I've heard. <laughs> this is Brad. Bagel is with me. This is Jill. Brad? <gasps> yeah. It's broken. You guys have that note. <laughs> it's broken. I don't care. It's broken. Wait, am I armed? Yeah, with a pistol. Good enough for now. Gotta start somewhere. Start at the pistol. Go, Jill, go. Go. Cool. Didn't look like that before the before the camera changed. Can someone please turn the water down? We're gonna go through snakes now. Snakes, bunch of snakes. So weird. The, the the elevator animation is a little different. It's pretty similar, but maybe it's the color palette here. Such weird differences. Watch out for snakes, 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 snakes. Fuck you, snakes. I'm gone. Yeah, I know their one weakness is ladders. <laughs> they can't traverse ladders. Snake! <laughs> Boy, these loading times. I don't know if it's the disc, the laser, or it's just the Sega Saturn version, but the loading times are slower. Longer? Longer. Loading is slower and times are longer. Look at this, like, oh, I'm trying to pry the door open. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's time for... 
<laughs> head off. <laughs> I can't do it like <laughs> Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Nobody can do it like Nicolas Cage. What would, what would what would the motion for head off be like face off you did, but what would the head off be like? <laughs> Pick it up. It's time. It's time. Hmm. I feel I could have pushed that scar thingy a bit. Just to be a little unstable. No time for that now. It's time. Well. Too bad there's no save between there and here. But let's see. Here we go. Oh, the motion blur. They can open doors now? Oh, I guess he's not open. Oh, wait, he is. <laughs> What's the shoot button? I'm gonna guess it's B. Please die. I'm gonna switch to the pistol. Look at this. Look at the balls in this guy. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, it worked. The best hunter cry in the series. I love this one, really. Makes me sad they changed it for the RE1 remake. That's probably my biggest gripe with RE1 remake. The hunter cries. What do you mean, can you? I know perf well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wrong game. This is an eternal darkness. Streamers from the US. Well, yeah, if it's like, if it's like that, then you shouldn't, I don't know, like, I'm, I get, I'm getting you did it, like, you simplified that here, but you know best how it went and, like, ask yourself, were you really rude? I know I had the issue with, well, the issue, <laughs> I've been taught to do it differently because, like, Slavs are pretty forward with some things in general. And when I started working with my UK client, he would ask me something. Nothing important. Oh, there we go. What what hippie likes saying as soon as he finds the zoom button. There we go. Eagle of East, Wolf of West. There, you heard it here first, folks. <laughs> um, he would say something like, can you do this for me? And I would say, yes. I mean, what else to say? <laughs> but in England, they go out like, yes, I certainly could. <laughs> or when I ask something, like, can I do this? And in England, they expect you to say, please, could I do this? So, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, they are, Gamma. They're so... Like, the remake, RE1 remake... Somehow, but <laughs> RE3 remake, what they did with betas there, I just don't like it, the, the direction they went. And Gammas too, you know, I, I like Alphas and Gammas, well, the first three hunters in general. <laughs> and then, <sighs> they just don't look, like, Licker's got a good remake uh, treatment, really mm. good. But Hunters, just, I get it, like, they're... Made from human... What was it? Like, I think alphas and betas were humans with uh, reptilian DNA and gammas were actually reptiles with human DNA, something like that. Amphibians with human DNA. But, no, not the switch. They look better here. I see. Well, yeah, like, if you're doing it the purpose, of course, you know, you're rude. Like, I'm trying to be rude. But then you expect that kind of treatment. I feel like I'm missing something here, guys. Was there something in the drawer? Can you open the drawer? 
Here's a switch. Now you don't. I don't think you can open the drawer here. I remember. So Magnum rounds and metal. So there were no shotgun rounds. That was in the remake, probably. It's just the light switch. Nothing else. When like two very similar versions of the same game are mixing up in your head. I I, I guess there's nothing there. I'm gonna check the. Nope. Nothing uncommon. Anything common? Maybe. There's a scratch here. But yeah, what I wanted to say, this is one of my favorite rooms, if not the, this is my favorite room in the original Resident Evil. Look at this place. It's a nice little den to chill out. Got a cool desk, a good moonlight and dense forest view from the <laughs> window. It's, I don't know, it's somehow cozy. A, a, a closet big enough for where we need, like, you can have books here, or consoles, <laughs> whatever you want. <laughs> forest, why are you so dense? That's in the remake. Thanks. Thank you. Are they? Possible, yeah. I know, like, from the first three hunters, um, betas are my weakest knowledge. Okay, let's go. Ooh. The save room's just beyond here, and then I'm gonna think if I'm gonna save. <laughs> I've got to I'm gonna toss a coin. If it's heads, I save. <laughs> if it's tails, I don't. Good. Okay. That's that means two two grenade rounds left. Okay. Is there another one here? Can't remember. I don't think there is. I know in the remake, yeah, in the remake, this summer when I was playing, I was standing here <laughs> and I could just hear the guy, the guy, the hunter guy from upstairs, like footsteps, tup, tup, and he just jumps over this railing. Ah! I saw my life flash before my eyes and I wasn't even in danger for real. I'll put some bullets in the back room. Use them in case of trouble. Barry. Oh, hey, this is not a bullet bear. You lied to me. The medals are for way later. I didn't need the pistol, really. Just for finishing hunters, I guess. Okay, and these are all good, yeah. It's what I brought for the boss battle magnum rounds we're gonna pack them up for now shotgun shells magnum magnum rounds this goes with the with all the like puzzle items key items lighter will i need lighter no I'm trying to remember this part i know i'm gonna fight yawn but the library is there everything's different Square crank, not gonna need it now, not gonna need bottles or the metal, so I'll need the key. Ah, yeah, the, 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 the acid rounds, which, grateful I have 12 and 6, that's 18, so that's good. These are gonna be good for hunters and, well, for yawn and hunters, yeah. Was yawn weak to the fire rounds? Maybe I should have. No, actually, I wasted five of them on nothing <laughs> in the Plant 42 battle. Yeah, there was some ending. <laughs> oh, yeah, this, these don't combine, do they? Nope. I'm gonna do something I never did. I'm gonna switch to the shotgun right away. Fuck it. Combat knife, pistol, another knife, and there we go. Pistol clip. Shotgun right away. Don't even think about it. Then bazooka here. Mixed herbs. Uh, we're gonna switch these, then combine. Okay, that's pretty good actually. I don't, nothing to worry about. As long as I save every now and then, I'll be fine. What will I equip though? 
maybe bring one more health. Nah. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna save here. Fuck it. <laughs> I barely remember this part, so yeah, there we go. She redeemed it. I have no choice anyway. <laughs> Thanks, sis. You solved you solved the big conundrum. Three saves. That's already criminal. No. <laughs> All those ink ribbons could have gone to like families that need ink ribbons. And the ink ribbon crisis. <laughs> Yo, still two explosives for the hunter. Then we got shotgun. Then we, yeah, we just, like below, it's just gonna be zo zombies anyway. Yeah, I feel like lighter will be necessary for another thing. I just can't remember what it is. Hink ribbon inflation. Yeah, <laughs> the IRI of twenty twenty twelve. 2012? 2022. I guess I went 10 years back. No auto aim. Just gotta remember that. I can't find how to open the options on the Saturn version. Like every other version, even the the Japanese Saturn version had a shortcut for options, but this one is no. I for you know what? I just saved. Let's just go blindly into darkness. Oh yeah, he's turning his back to me. That's right. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Nice. Nice. Okay. Those cries. Let's see how we do with Yawn. Maybe I should have brought another HP item, but I'll, I'm gonna find out. All my memory of this game is from... Director's cut where you just press the aim button and she turns towards the enemy, but here you got to do it manually as we've seen with Flan 42 Not really good Second use of the helmet key Oh gee don't do that console Ah, okay. Can't examine the rooms. There's this. A hole opens in the fireplace. So, Lupka, and the last time you asked, like, it just escaped, you didn't kill it. Well, because if you take a look, and it's hard to actually show a point on this map, but the room, like, beyond the fireplace is the attic where I first fought it, so it literally just goes through a hole and where it escaped it leads here so you're gonna see what actually it makes no sense until I until you see it <laughs> okay no auto aim keep an eye on health and the uh, ammo reload when necessary it'll be all good just fill it full of acid and you're done you won you beat the game not really but you know close One, two, three, four, five. Did I kill it? Yep, there you go. Five. Five is all it takes. Nice. <laughs> now it's really dead. It's not escaping. And it's turning into what I think is plum jam. Maybe raspberry jam. Now it's evaporating. Gotta love the Saturn effects. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, it's just puddles now and it's gone. Just the stain is left. Smoking. He's gonna start to stop smoking. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I'm gonna investigate this. It's too dark to see anything. Steam, huh? Jill. Steaming. Have you found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. I'm acting. <laughs> uh, some of the lines. <laughs> 
the range of emotions in that delivery. Hey, what's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait, I'll go and get another rope. Barry? Barry? So, Lubka, if you remember from my elementary, uh, friend from elementary, like schoolmate, classmate, Fiste. Stefan was his name, but we called him Fiste. Um, <laughs> he told me in school, I remember, like when Barry does this, now I've done it. Like he revealed himself, he betrayed you. Okay, here we go. Hey, are you there, Jill? Grab the rope. They're going between underacting and overacting. But, you know, in the circumstances, like I said, they just got... I'm sorry, Jill. I didn't know that was going to happen. <sighs> sorry. I was really careless. Are you okay, Barry? Maybe you're getting tired. No, I'm all right. Don't worry. Jill, I found something. They literally just got the piece of paper with, you know, lines on it. And they were like, they told him, read this. <laughs> um, so this is skippable. Like, we didn't have to wait for Barry right there which I didn't do in the first five playthroughs. I would just move on. And you never, this scene doesn't happen because you left, obviously. He never gives you the pass number. So you cannot, cannot even unlock the door, which uh, the, the pass number is for, which opens a big shortcut in the western part of the mansion. And it's not even like you have to punch it in. It's one of those like Resident Evil 1. And then as far as I know, they reuse this in Outbreak games. Where you don't have to do anything. Your character just after they read it. She knows that the password is, is 8108310. And she'll just punch it in. And that's it. You don't have to. You know. You don't interact with it. Other than she says. You know. I Thank punched you. in the password. I'll take this then. And for the first five playthroughs. That password eluded me. I was like. How, how did they make this? And there's no password anywhere. All right, don't worry, you folks. Okay, shotgun, go down. There's a rope. Will you descend it? Yes, I would love to. And that's it. Now we have a rope and a way up and down. And even the rope, look at that. The rope is dither too. You can see the checkerboard effect. And so, <laughs> I mean, for 1996, this is stellar animation. Oh yeah, that, I, I was gonna say, I think I did, yeah, I think, did I mention that? I knew, I'm not sure, I know I wanted to mention it last time, Gambit, but in RE3, there are certain, like several several grunts Jill makes, like after the tram scene, that just, I think that's what they were going for, <laughs> with that, kind of makes sense. Well, without context, you would think it's, it could be anything, you know? <laughs> There's a switch below. Will you push it? That doesn't even give us the explanation of whose grave this is. I always wonder, like, why would they build a puzzle with the grave in it? Before the, you know, before the remake explains whose grave that is. Well, just the tombstone, not really the grave. An accidental A. <laughs> Oh, gotta love these camera angles. Okay, guy. I'm just gonna wait patiently here. In the first game, you don't even have to, like, aim at the head for the head to pop. Love it. Oh, boy. 
It's hard to judge the death. How are you alive? I guess he's not close enough. Three shotgun shells. Wow. Okay. Well, he was guarding seven shotgun shells, so that's okay. Sounds like they're slurping something. Hi guys, can I join you? Ah oh shit, I guess not. Was this guy alive? I forget. I think I need to reload now. <gasps> nope, I guess not. <laughs> uh, I could have at least shot down and checked if he was alive. Oh, we're never gonna find out. I'm pretty sure he's alive. You know what? I'm gonna eat one of these. Keep full health. So weird, this is locked from the other side. You know, you unlock it, even though you couldn't have... Just a sec. Uh... You, you still alive? Why? Uh... Is he... F Are you fucking kidding me, man? Four shells, how, why, should I have gone further? The elevator's there, we can unlock this part and the cutscene. Four shells for a zombie, what the hell? A freezer, it has not been used for a long time. Water is not supplied. Dark blood sticks to it, what did they cook here? It's dusty. It has not been used for a long time. What is like the the locker, I guess? This the like this one, the original first one probably about 20 times since the year 2000 when I first played it. An oven. It's badly rusted and does not seem to work. But I played the remake of this game uh well, about 20 times as well, only more recently. This this one, in the recent years, I played maybe like in the last two years, maybe three times. Well, the remake I played, let's say, six times. So, you know, it's pretty similar. You'll see when we get to the remake, so things get mixed up. Yeah, well, several times a year. The first three Resident Evils, several times a year. And then Remake, the first time I played that one in 2010, so 10 years later. Now, do I want to go up? I'm going to be greeted with by hunters ah yeah I do you know why I want to go up because I want to put that password in so I don't have to just use the elevator yeah that's what I was saying so only in the first game you don't have to like in Resident Evil 2 and 3 and every later Resident Evil well the classic ones at least you had to aim up to take their heads off with the shotgun 
But in the first one, it's like they just approach you. It doesn't matter where you shoot. They, their heads pop off. This is where the elevator doesn't seem to stop. And another door unlocked. So, you know, you know what I mean? From both sides, it's kind of... Maybe... Maybe it's because I could have used the, the password, then the elevator to come down to the kitchen. And then it would be locked, so... But, you know, who would do that when you have, when the route underneath the tombstone is just open to you? I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. It's weird the doors were locked and you gotta lock them from the other side. There's gonna be two hunters here. And it hit no one. Well, isn't that wonderful? I'm gonna die so bad. Yep. <laughs> oh, these two. Okay. Good thing I saved in that room over there. Not even, not even like they didn't. They have an insta kill animation where they can take your head off, but I just got stun locked. Couldn't even open the inventory. <laughs> uh, yeah, too easy with them. Without auto aim, when she doesn't turn towards them, I should have stepped out. Next time I'm gonna step out a bit so I can see them from afar. Because that one guy just keeps jumping, I remember that. He doesn't even run. One of them run towards you, the other one jumps. Or they do it alternate, you know, alternating, I don't know. Either way, it's... I remember as a kid... Oh, jeez, why, why does it change? So now, A is confirmed. But from this point on, B is confirmed. And A is back. <laughs> so now B. You can get stuck on the main menu forever. Man, I wonder what the ticks are going to be like without auto aim. I remember even with auto aim on the Japanese version, they're fast and it's dark in the caves. Everything the same. Bazooka equipped. I feel like if I, if you're in a hurry in this game, you spend more time in the loading screens than in the actual game. Well, at least in this version. Hmm, the death cry. Okay, Jill, let's do this again. Damn, and I got yawn no damage. I think that's the... Let's hope we repeat that. Yeah, the Hunter's, hunter's Cry is just so good. But in the remake, they, they do some weird... I guess they wanted to make him more reptilian. This one... I don't know, maybe it's because the first I saw, heard, but it just makes more sense to me. So five, five acid rounds should kill it. Oh, it's still alive and I spent six? Oh no, I didn't. I spent five. Ah, oh, kill me. Fuck it. It missed. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Okay, do it now. Oh, gee. Oh, yeah. Sound design is... I, I value sound design in games, in anything, but like in games it's very important. Jill, have you found anything interesting? Yes, but I can't see very well. How about going down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Hi, Delmar. Good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Here's some Resident Evil game you probably like more hey, than Outbreak. What's going on? Now I've done They're only talking to cutscenes here. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Barry? Barry? Let's wait for him again. I want that password. It's, uh, it's going to be more useful here than in the... Director's Cut version. <laughs> I know you like these more. So how have you been? Awkward. Awkwardly waiting for him to come back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Are you there, Jill? Grab the rope. I'm doing okay, Delmar. Good to hear you're good. <laughs> yeah, Carter, because in Outbreak you can initiate I'm well sorry, dialogues. Jill. You can talk as a way of gameplay, and I like to use it a lot. I was really still careful. find some new. Texts and okay, voice clips. Barry? Some of them are ultra rare. Maybe you're getting tired. But in these old ones, it's just the no, cutscenes. I'm all right. <laughs> Don't worry. Well, Jill, talking. I found something. Thank you. I'll take this then. Oh, so you can load fast when you want to. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Lupka, I, I heard. I used to hear that, so I remember I heard it as, "Oh dear," because she says, "Oh, do you?" But the way she says it, uh, it sounds like she's saying, "Oh dear." <laughs> like what kind of response is that she, he's got a rope <laughs> talking cutscenes for me like talking in bad voice acting in Resident Evil 1 yeah sure sir I know you're there Gonna need those herbs now, and hopefully I don't get murdered by those hunters again. So you just run past them, killing them on another door. <laughs> Resident Evil 1 Outbreak mod. Down, boy. Yeah. I 
So that's the door we need to go. Should I combine them? Really doesn't matter at this point, but... Wait! 56 and 3, 59. Oh, okay. Without any context, it just might must have been weird. Wait, did I go back? Yep. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna go back to the grave. Gotta get to the kitchen. Charge! And then left. No, right. There we go. I'm gonna try to kill that guy on the floor again. Differently. <laughs> yeah, how did you figure that out? That was supposed to be a secret. Uh... Sir, why do you need so many shells to die, sir? I'm gonna quickly check something upstairs. I think there's gonna be more herbs. I can, I can grab one, then tackle the hunters, and then hopefully not die and save that in the other safe room because it's very hard to follow them manually. Oh look, it's the United Nations elevator. What is up with the shaking? Did you see that? Good, there should be one more at least here. Right here. Sir? Are you there? Oh, there he is. Whoo wee! I should be able to enter there, right? But yeah, there's a lot more to pick up, and the password can only be punched from one side. Since the 60s, wow, that's a that's a career. Jesus, I can't do anything there. Otherwise, I could combine the herbs, I guess, make two. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Like save one. This is the door where I'll make a shortcut. Yeah, but how am, how am I opening the door? I didn't unlock it. Maybe there's another hallway. I'm sure there's another hallway. Yeah, there's another hallway. Yeah. Definitely. There you go. <laughs> that slurping sound. Blood spraying sound, whatever it is. It's too much. <laughs> no, not with the shells, with the other herb. For Jill, it's like two greens. Should be more than enough. Now I run into those hunters. Not that I didn't have any herbs there, but... Can I do it tonight? Let's see. Come on! <laughs> do I have my... <laughs> do I have my inner Arnold with me? Come on! Zombie, I'm trying to kill you here. Get up for me. Put that zombie down. Now! Thank you, Herr Zombie. Ah. Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, I'm glad you love it, sis. Some days my Arnold is better than other days. Because, I don't know. <laughs> I just do it. I don't know the specifics. Okay, this is the hallway. The hallway of Chapa. It 
it's a very pointless hallway. What is the point of this? Come on, Jill, we gotta find the door. <laughs> Somebody has to do it. It's locked. And I have the password, but the password is for the other side. Now, Jill, we have to kill the hunters. Ah! <laughs> do it, do it now! That's a very long elevator animation. It's very shaky. Come out, door open. I'm in a hurry here. <laughs> Imagine the battle between Wesker and Arnold. Like Wesker! <laughs> the freezer it has not been used in a long time. Come out, table. Let me through. We've seen all that. Come out, zombie. Oh shit, did I did I did I reload the shotgun? Come out, open the door. Come out, stupid knob, open. Nah. Gah. Bah. Hasta la vista, zombie. There you go. We did it. Now let's try not to die. Plenty of hunters. But we got herbs. So I just need to be smart here. Don't panic. Whatever I do, I shouldn't do. Ah! Gotta love those steps. Seriously, Carter. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just, you know what? A new rule. When Carter appears, I just turn off all the challenges. What is it, like five minutes? Five minutes, no shooting. Ooh, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's zombie Arnold. Come on. I need to hide now, I can't shoot shit. I mustn't die now. Ah. Ah. <laughs> can I even pass the one, like, hiding? I'm not sure I can do that. Is that even possible? Ugh. Yeah, I can't. I can't not kill this guy. How the fuck do I even... Charge! Gee! Well, I got another announcement. Carter, Ronald Carter here is gonna pay for my um, laundry after this stream. I'm gonna have to do my underwear. I'll send you the bill. <laughs> oh yeah, this. I gotta see the map just to remember. So I go left, then left, right? Right, left, then left, then the door. I can do it. Ah, come on. 
Stupid hunter, I didn't see my health, I hope it's fine. God, come on, I gotta get to the safe room, come on, I went to the safe room. Ah. Oh. I can do it, I'm better than you, hunter. Blah, blah. Oh, this is so, <laughs> it's making me nervous, this guy should be dead. <laughs> But I can't kill him without shooting. Just look at them sternly. <sighs> Five minutes? Nah, I didn't yet. Two more minutes. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna put these here. Yep. You oh, fuck it. Just eat, a, eat an herb. You got nothing to prove here. Just heal. There you go. Look, it's all fine and dandy. I'll be good. <laughs> I can eat herbs. I, <laughs> I can smoke. There's a bed here. <laughs> Ooh la la, Gamut. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que c'est? He wants me to speak French. French now? It's two, two minutes. Ban in action. I did not know. Oh, we have a raid. A raid. <laughs> A raid! A raid from the Lag Storm. Welcome raiders, welcome. Thanks for the thanks for the raid lag storm. What have you been playing? Raw danger. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Just been doing Arnold here, so it sounded like it fits. Gerza Gerza Jabarkus. Hello, Gerza Jabarkus. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> I will when we I will <laughs> Grizzly Jabarkus I, I will when we do <laughs> when we stream Sound Hill 3 next time I most certainly will and maybe sometime before that <laughs> draw me like one of your French hentais oh yeah I, we have a challenge I need to speak with a French accent under a giant rainstorm and earthquakes oh so it's like rampage. Like a modern rampage. Did you have fun? That's that's what's the most important thing. Sing. Hello Nix Nix Rachni? Nix Rachni? Like Arachne? Then Nix Rachni. Hello, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Welcome to the stream. Actually you did pretty well my saying my name. Oh I did. Grizzly Jabarkus. I just I, I just had a, an Arnold challenge just before this, so I just imagine him doing Gersa Jabakas, come out, I'm trying to save you. Welcome, welcome, a dark hunting. It is a surprisingly hot take considering homecoming exists. Ooh la la. Book of memories too? Shutter memories. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> So, so Solen Hill 2, <laughs> Dua, <laughs> and Shatter Memories are my two favorites, and Silent Hill 3, <laughs> I have a lot of gripe with that game, but I think, I think the time for the French accent has expired, I can start talking normally. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the, the not shooting expired, don't worry about that, it's okay, don't worry about it, Carter. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes uh, sense, Nick's, or Nick's Rackney. Here we go, hydrate. Yeah, I love I love Shutter Memories. I know people have, like, issues with its um, puzzle, <laughs> puzzles and some gameplay mechanics, but it's just one of my favorite... Uh, second favorite Silent Hill, really. I just... That's how I feel. <laughs> I love Homecoming more than 3. I love 4 more than 3. But like when I say that people think, oh, this guy doesn't like, like Silent Hill 3. I love it. Just just in the Silent Hill hierarchy, there's no bad Silent Hill games. But I have a lot of issues with 3, especially the latter half and the, the lack of endings. And uh, quite a few things. It's a half-ass game, really. And we should have gotten a different Silent Hill 3. But we didn't because Konami was very insecure about the sale, the initial sales of the 
Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 3 was supposed to be like that, but they were like, whoa, whoa, cut this weird shit, go back, like, do a sequel to Silent Hill 1. So they rushed it the best they could with the assets they had, and that's how we got Silent Hill 3 that we know. And Silent Hill Homecoming, some of the concepts are from the original Silent Hill 3 that we never got. Yeah, and like 4 is a great game cuz so there's a thing when the when a game series releases a sequel that doesn't copy, I don't mind reusing the engine like Silent Hill 3 did with Silent Hill 2. I don't mind, you know, the sound effects perfect keep all that, but like when the game is almost identical, I think the best thing about Silent Hill 3 is Heather. She's one hell of a protagonist. I'm going to say she's my favorite Silent Hill protagonist in my least favorite Silent Hill game. She has so much personality. She just feels like a real person. The, the atmosphere is just... I love it. <laughs> it's perfect. But some things, like I said, especially near the end game, it just you can see they were like, oh, quickly, we got to finish this quickly. Just What giant monster in the world? Well, yeah, just go with it. Yeah, we're done, done. <laughs> Voice acting and music in three or four. <laughs> Yeah, Heather is the best thing about Silent Hill, really, Silent Hill 3. You just look at that, like, when they did the, when they did the DBD thing, partnership, Heather is the playable character. James was the skin, right? Here, he's not even there as a skin, I think. That tells you, you know, so much about Heather and her importance in the Silent Hill series. Oh yeah, that is that is that is probably the second best thing, <laughs> flamethrower and katana. <laughs> but yeah, voice acting of three is really good. Like I said, when I say it's my least favorite Silent Hill game, I don't think it's a bad game. It's still one of the best. Like it's in the top fifty games ever made, best games ever made at least in my on my list. But then, so many things could have been better. You can feel the rushiness, and you know after I saw that interview. It was with one of the... Because when people say si Team Silent, it's not the same team of people. That, like, I think each game had changed a good portion of its, of its team that just was called Team Silent internally because they developed you know, Silent Hill games. Some of the main people, like Akira Yamaoka and uh, Masahiro Ito, and you know, the main guys were there, but a lot of the team changed. And... I think some of the team even shuffled between two, between the original three and the three we got. And then when Double Helix got uh, got to develop Homecoming, they were given some of that original three's concept. And I love Homecoming, really. I, I, again, I get why people wouldn't like it. Just like, <laughs> I don't like Resident Evil 4 as a Resident Evil game at all. I can get that. But still, it had a lot of good things. Yes, they copied uh, Pyramid Head. But it's okay. There are better things, there are, you know, there are less good things about it, but when you mix it, it's pretty good. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I mean, it's a business decision, I get it. Too, too bad it was a crappy decision, because they really thought Silent Hill 2 was weird, it was selling bad at the start, way worse than the first game. So that's why they told him, you know what, cut that weird shit, just do a sequel to Silent Hill 1, we're gonna, don't be, don't be special, just, you know, follow the lines that we know work and that's why Sun Hill 3 is like it is and again it's it's an amazing game given the circumstances how 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 rushed it was yeah we agree on that a lot of people here agree on that if they made it like a American agent in Spain call it whatever they're not raising to you 50% better <laughs> right away not, not better it just you expect something and you get something different Expect zombies, Raccoon City, or something similar, maybe some, you know, play the Outbreak in Resident Evil 4 in the same month. And even then, as a kid, I liked Resident, uh, I liked Outbreak more as a Resident Evil than Resident Evil 4. It was a great game, but I was like, aside from the intro and the ending scenes from RE3, there's no Resident Evil here. There's Leon, but he might as well have jumped to another series, Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, Outbreak is the main game on this channel. At least it was before we had some internet difficulties now that prevent me from playing online. 
but it's still the only consistent thing since the channel started. So yeah, I didn't even introduce myself, <laughs> Raiders. For you, those of you who don't know me, I'm Hippie Tesla. I do I stream retro games from original hardware, no emulation. We do we're doing Resident Evil One Seven here, like 20 minutes later, but good. <laughs> I said it. Yeah, and I was playing Resident Evil. I'm thinking about Silent Hill now. What was I doing? Did I save? I did not save. I was gonna save, right? I'm gonna save. Then I can can I shoot? Yeah, I, I owe Carter at least two more minutes of not shooting. And I'm a fair guy. I will give you a bonus, but I will never, you know. What's the word? You'll never get less. There you go. <laughs> uh, yeah, and Legacy of Kane. It's, it's no lie. It is one of my favorite franchises. Plenty of good things I'm playing this year, really. All the games I like. Well, not that I'm. I would play games I don't like. <laughs> Are reversed, but you know. Let's update that. <laughs> Let's raid this guy, guys. He hates Silent Hill Three. <laughs> Everyone, gang up on him. Yeah, yeah, it does. Carter here is a big Legacy of Kane fan. That's how we met. Came to my Blood Omen stream. He never left. <laughs> okay, so two hunters there. I'm just gonna charge for now. If I do this right, I should be able to just slip past him. Woo! Now this part's not gonna be easy. Yeah. Generally, don't hate stuff. It's I see hate is like you gotta love something. It's gotta disappoint you real bad. See what hate. Let's focus. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, they will never. Wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. God damn it, I should be going... Fuck. I should be going upstairs to use the password. Why am I going back? This is such a bad decision. Oh, okay, I can start killing them. I don't... Carter, the no killing time's over. I gotta clean this house. I gotta clean it. Otherwise, it's gonna clean me. Probably take my head off with it. Oh, he's never gonna jump again. Like he did the first... Oh, don't you hate it when they do that? Waste your grenades and don't die. Oh. I, I just saved, Lupka. I just saved. But thanks, though. I owe you the next save room. Oh, I have no idea what third birthday is, really. Yeah, it expired. Are you listening to me? Why is no one listening to me? It expired. Gotta be very, 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 very good. Gotta be sneaky here. Sneaky mission. Kill the hunters. No. Gotta save some rounds now, because that guy made me spend extra. Good. Good. Hello, sir. Would you like to talk about our Lord and Savior, the grenade launcher? I mean, this grenade launcher. God, without auto aim, this is just mission impossible. Six more left. Oh, there's more of them upstairs. Do I have any other rounds? Because after this, it's just shotgun. <laughs> it's that bad? Oh, third birthday is it's par par Parasite Eve 3. Oh god, I so want to play that game. I played it a long time ago. My friend lent it to me for like two weeks. It was one of those games like Kudelka. 
And the thing is, well, Parasite, Parasite Eve 1 was never released in Europe. Like, not even on PS3. So I gotta get the US version if I'm to play that. Oh, I got... I'm gonna need the Magnum. gonna need the... Okay, I remember now. I'm gonna need the key. It's here. Yeah, that's all the grenade runs I have. Oh, damn, Gamut, you really don't like third birthday. <laughs> yeah. I know about third birthday. I never played it because it just smelled bad. <laughs> My friend, well, the friend who lent it to me, he played it. Yeah, I never played 2, I can get 2, but I never played it just because, well, I want to get the first game. Just like Chrono Cross, it's one of those games. I gotta get the US version, if I'm to understand it and be able to play it. The two, two, two conditions satisfied. Oh... Wait, there's gonna be two hunters here, right? I'm just gonna jump so I can see where he is. Don't take my head off, sir. Okay, for her, I think... I'm gonna try this, see what happens. There you go. Yellow fire. He's gonna... Good. And I'm gonna punch the Oh, there we go. Last use of the helmet key. That's it. Three doors. Punch the password in. Numeric key panel. You've entered the pass number. Don't open the door, just... Okay. Okay, we've been there. I'm gonna stop collecting these items now from the stuffing room. What is it called? I call it stuffing room because there's stuffed animals in there. Oh, if you have a dirty mind, that's not my. It's not my <laughs> fault. <laughs> Damn, I might be able to completely ignore those two hunters. I don't need to go back there, so I think that's okay. No, oh, okay, yeah, this is the simple version of this puzzle. Puzzle. Come on, you want, you need that. It's very useful. <laughs> it's one of the most useful items in the game. I've never heard anyone say, ooh, I played third birthday, it was awesome. <laughs> it was good. Not even that. Odas. Top secret. July 22nd, 1998. 2 a.m. 13 minutes. To the head of the security department. X day is approaching. X day. Complete the following orders within the week. 1. Lure the members of STARS into the lab and have them fight with the BOW in order to obtain data of actual battles. Collect 2 embryos per BOW. Type making sure to include all species except for Tyrant. Destroy the Arkley lab, including the Robinson family, <laughs> including all researchers and lab animals, in a manner which will seem accidental. Hawaii Umbrella. Yeah, that's about it. Speaking of suffering, the suffering is a good horror game. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this puzzle. Oh, yeah, you can't. Can I push in the dark? Yeah, that's the thing. You can't push in the dark. You don't know what you're pushing where. Nice, Carter. It needs to procreate. Okay. Can you do it without the lights? I forgot. 
Letter Jill. Gaiden, huh? Oh, for a Game Boy game, it's it's good. I I love how some um, reviewers for Game Boy games, even like bigger games like Zelda Ocarina of uh, sorry Oracle of Seasons and Ages, they gave the same review as for Resident Evil Gaiden. It's like oh, the music sounds like you know chip tune screeching. Well, yeah, it's a it's an eight bit pocket console. What do you want? A symphonic orchestra? It's great for you know what it is on what it's on and the time it's it was made in. It's amazing. It's the most RPG Resident Evil we got, I think, because it's almost like an RPG in in quite a few ways. Is there anything else here? No, I don't think. No, no incredible. I'm gonna leave the light off. So whoever comes in here trips and breaks their nose. <laughs> Water. Come on, don't fail me, console. Please. Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to save quite often. I don't like if it didn't load until now, it's probably not gonna load. I'm gonna have to reset it. Hold on a second, be right back. I'm just gonna check what's going on. I didn't want to wait to see if it's going to happen. I'm just going to reset it. We had a save recently. I, this is what I'm afraid of. Like, I've never finished the original RE1 on any platform on this channel. The PlayStation 1 version... Oh, God. <laughs> the change button. The PlayStation 1 version froze when I opened the... Before I opened the fountain, the, the Japanese Saturn froze in the lab near the end. Has he saved? Yeah, uh, a few minutes ago. I was just talking a lot, so I can just run through this pretty fast. Because I can hear, like, when when I'm opening the doors, I, I, I know the way the laser should move. Go zeek, zeek, zeek. But then if it's not doing that, in that order, <laughs> that means something's gone screwy. Okay, I get kind of gentleman's reset because we had to. Just keep all this, I guess. Run out with the bazooka, kill them all. Oh boy, what's going on with the cables? Hold on, I'm just gonna move. I know what it is. What I said at the start, I forgot to do. Oh god, why do I keep pressing that thing? I need this thing. There you go. Yeah, it does a little, because I think my cable moved. Oh, it's still doing it. Damn it, I thought I fixed it. Okay, I'll get up later and do it. I did it in a hurry just after work, so without enough testing, that's what you get. Stop doing that. OG Rick, 
Please stop doing that. So there's a guy behind the corner there. Oh wow, one shot. Lovely. Okay, then there's a guy up there. No, not... You don't have the shotgun. Yeah, it's got like <laughs> that kind of distortion. It's analog video. Unfiltered. Raw. Now I'm gonna run towards him. Oh god, I think this room is gonna mess with me. Yeah, it's the same room, only from the other door. Doesn't want to load it. I'm gonna wipe the disc. I'll be back in two minutes. Sorry about this, folks. Can't predict it. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back in a few minutes, hopefully with the working game. <laughs> Okay, take three. Let's hope it works. It's already a running gag. Can't finish a fucking Resident Evil 1 game. Uh. <laughs> they will never get old. A here. Then B here. Come on, game, work with me. I know you're old, your back hurts, but I need you now. You have once again entered the world of survival horror. Good luck. I'm gonna need it. Just don't stop freezing on me, game. Thanks for the follow. Grzjabarkus, Grzjabarkus. Now I sound, I, I love the sound of that, I'm gonna say. <laughs> Appreciate the follow, though. Beyond the scary, though. Okay, it's moving faster now. Oh, a one shot. Thank you. I hope you will be entertained. Hasta la vista, hasta. He was like, ah, oh, stop pushing me. Yeah, they have two possible health values in the first game, right? I think. So three acid, four sh shells. Let's, let's keep the count. Come on, game, don't freeze. I need that room. I can't finish Thank the game Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm from Serbia. If that it's not Eastern Europe, it's kind of southern, southern, but it could be Eastern, depending on who you ask. But yeah, it's Slavic. Okay, he's gonna slap me after this. Yeah, from Serbia. Yep. You know where I am? <laughs> Come on, shoot him, shoot him. No, not that. Are you fucking? <laughs> Oh, the hunter's just waiting there. Oh, it's okay. She's using the key. That's... I don't mind. He missed. I was in iframes because... Oh, did you see that? Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, that's Serbia. Yeah, Vojvodina. It's a region. I don't know. Like you say, your family's from there. How... How acquainted are you with the country? Don't open the door. Oh, I forgot she's gonna do that. Let's avoid this room as much as possible. I'm gonna go back, open the door, grab the ammo and everything. <clears throat> and then quickly go back, stash it, everything. Yeah. Gonna make minimal runs through the room, basically. This is not smart, going back to it, but what can you do? loading so far oh wow yeah that's a long time 30 years 31 years where do you live now if I may ask Yeah, put a stop on everyone's travel plans in the U.S. In the East, West, in the South. Hmm. This first, let's not forget. I think once is enough. Ah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of embarrassing to say, but I'm... <laughs> I know I'm the uh, United States geography better than European geography, just because one of the jobs I had was dispatching trucks across the Midwest, mostly. The company was from Chicago, so they covered everything from Chicago to New York and down to Atlanta. Nobody went west, though. I think maybe I sent a driver twice to Las Vegas because he lived there. But that's about it. But, you know, doing that for a couple of years, I actually learned uh, the geography and the, all the states. <laughs> but it's after that that I learned where Norway is. From the perspective of Serbia, you know. <laughs> kind of backwards. Okay, let's go get the Magnum, and then we'll come back for more. I'm gonna go get the Magnum, save, and then we're gonna resume. I'm gonna have a bunch of saving this session. We have so many ink ribbons. Is it countable? So many ink ribbons, yeah. We're gonna be okay. If we save at every save room. Ohio seems nice from people who live there that I talk with. Close to the lakes, not too extreme. Well, this is going to become the Magnum and the other one I can just yeah, mix. That's the that's the hunter killer. Like, if this were easy, um, director's cut, I would just run through the, this part with, with the Magnum. Well, it makes sense why. I can, I can, I understand why you want to do that. And can't tell you anything. Honestly, up to, up till a few years ago, I would have, uh, I tried 
was working on it with my wife to move out of Serbia. We were looking into Norway or England. So England, Norway, and U.S. were our first choices. But right now, with the state of the world, you know, as it is, I feel it's better here. It's the same about everywhere, but it kind of, <laughs> people are more used to being, you know, in bad situation here. I don't know. I don't think it's a good time to go outside of Serbia. I even told some of my friends, you know, if it gets tough where you are, know that you're welcome here because times are changing. Nice. Okay. Yeah. The north is getting restless. To the moon. Have you played the game to the moon? Is it going to say ruby or just red jewel? Shining beautifully. Well, good to know. Lasers at the earth. <laughs> that are mounted upon sharks that swim in the moon lakes. Oh yeah, it is super emotional. I'm actually going to stream it after October. It's one of the first games I'm going to do after I finish uh, Chrono Cross and, you know, the October spooks. <laughs> Yeah, it's not... I know. I follow those things. Listen to both sides. Just, you know... I wish it, it didn't have to interest me. I don't want it to interest me, but, you know... It affects us all, so you kind of gotta... Be in the loop at least a bit. Okay, okay. Then you should, because it's... It's pretty emotional. It's a great game. Like, it's a trilogy at this point. To the moon. Uh, what's the second one called? Because they're all they're called the two. Uh, no, searching for paradise. Something like, something like that. Such I think it's in the search for paradise or something like that. And the third one is called Imposter Factory. And they're all all three of them are amazing. So Cold Python goes into the box, and we're gonna save again. Unfortunately, gotta save every now and then hopefully it doesn't freeze again but that's the thing with compact discs the way compact discs like the regular cds at least and uh dvds work they read from you know inside towards outside of the disc unlike the nintendo proprietary discs such as the gamecube and wii which are go backwards but anyway, the point is, the outer rim of the disc, like if it's, if the disc's a little bent, the, you know, if you do this, like this, <laughs> this, like the inner part is not gonna tilt as much as the outer part, and then the laser has to follow that. And this looks weird that I'm doing on camera, but that's what it looks like inside the console. <laughs> and then, you know, it's harder to read, it wobbles more. Yeah, that's it, it wobbles more. So the closer to the end game we get, it can be, you know, trickier. You know, I'm not going to need all this now. There's no, not going to be any hunters there. So what I'm going to do is <laughs> I'm going to pack, pack up the health. I think that should save more than enough room. Yeah, there you go. Just ammo. I killed the guy upstairs. Oh yeah, save. Save. I owe my so sister, I owe you sister Lubka. I owe you a save from before, so I'm using it now. Twelve ink ribbons left. Without technical issues and with auto aim. Like two ink ribbons would have been enough. Thank you. <laughs> but you know, as is, I gotta be careful. I don't wanna repeat large stretches of the game and I do want to finish a Resident Evil 1 playthrough on stream 
It's the game that made me a gamer, along with The Legend of Zelda. Well, Resident Evil 3 and Link's Awakening. Those were the, the games that... <laughs> yeah, they did awaken something in me. I became from a gamer boy. I No, I, I grew from a gamer boy to a gamer man. Come on. Oh, I can hear the laser. It's, it's lasering. It's doing it, ladies and gentlemen. It's lasering. There we go. Oh, yeah. The MGS series is... If you know, if you know it, then there's not much new you can hear about it. If you're not, then uh, people played Metal Gear Solid One in school, but I never did until like 2000. I'm gonna say 12 even. I had Metal Gear Solid Two for a few years already, but I never booted it up. It was one of those games I never played, and. Uh, and I was like, yeah, let's give it a try. And it just entranced me. MGS2 blew my... Well, then, was I a teen teenager? I was mentally a teenager. My mentally teenage mind just destroyed it. And then I played three. And then one. No, I actually played one last. Just three years ago. We we bought it in, in the UK, was it? Yeah. We brought it from there. Because they actually have used game shops over there. Unlike here. And things are pretty cheap. Considering how much I used to pay for some of these games. Over here. But yeah. It never stopped being good. Hello there, Porsche. The way he says it was it. What was it? I just gotta. I got. I gotta imagine him. I'm gonna get the. Oh gee. Hello, Jambe. That was lucky. I wish games were cheap here. They are super expensive for NTSG. Oh, trust me. Trust me. Your <laughs> the. NTSC versions tend to be much more cheap than the PAL versions, especially those rare games. Yeah, like sh like the Shims, Delmar, like the Shims. The scrapbook. Raccoon Times, May 27, 1998. Animal Attack? Woman, woman? <laughs> Vuman? Woman mutilated. May 20th, around 10 p.m., a 20-year-old young woman's body was found by a passerby on the left bank of Marble River in the Shider district of Raccoon City. <laughs> Raccoon police assume it, assume it to be a grizzly or other animal's doing because there are teeth marks along her mutilated arms and left foot that show considerable power. <laughs> Since, this, since she was wearing a hiking boot on her remaining foot, it has been determined that she was attacked in the Arclay Mountains and fell off into the river. They are hurrying to identify this woman. Where was it? Marble River. I think that's the river that runs through the flashback scenario of, of Outbreak File 2. Raccoon Police assume it. Oh yeah, we read that. Raccoon Weekly, June 16, 19. I, it's hard. It's hard to read these things with like messy voices because I'm actually trying to remember the story. Raccoon Weekly, June 16, 1998. Monsters in Arkley Mountains. Some people claim they've seen monsters in the Arkley Mountains. Well, the the title told us that, but okay. The monsters are supposedly about the same size as large dogs and usually run in a pack as wolves do. You mean the mutated dogs? Are like large dogs? This may sound like a group of ordinary wild dogs, but these monsters are surprisingly fierce and hard to har hurt. They say these dogs won't bother unless you wake them, so you smart readers should stay out of Arkley Mountains for the time being. But if you're looking for adventure, check it out! You wanna try? Raccoon Times, July 9th, 1998. Mystery on Arkley Mountains, Mountain Road Blocked. 
Due to successive disasters in the Arctic Mountains, the city authorities have decided to block the road leading to the foothills. At the same time, raccoon police intend to begin the search for lost people with the help of STARS team members. They expect great difficulty because of the vast size of Arkley Mountains and the primeval forest that covers most of the area. Also, people are still reporting sightings of grotesque monsters in the mountains. Did you just add that as a footnote? Oh yeah, big monsters. But you know, the other thing. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I love the files of Resident Evil 1. Like, the voice acting is what it is, but the files are just, even with translation errors, there's a sense of mystery, even after playing this for, what, 20 plus times? Most of them are in biology and chemistry. Chemistry. <laughs> has not been used for a long time and is dusty. Just like this guy here. Still biology and chemistry. We're not gonna do that yet. So the shelf is an object itself. 335 points. He needs 330 more to make me stop walking. Best stream ever. Just look at a stream streamer as he's just standing around doing nothing. <laughs> I expect all of this stuff when I put those challenges up. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> I think that last a uh, scrap is used in uh <clears throat> in flashback scenario of outbreak. There should be yeah, there we go. We're going to need that. Come on, Jill. I can look over the courtyard from here. It's a helicopter port. Wait. Wasn't it a helipad? I guess they didn't invent the word back then. Look at the other side of the house. It's wonderful. If I could contact the other members from there. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> but we so get you, Kata. 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 No, Kata. The scary door. Ding dum ding dum dum ding ding dum ding dum dum ding. Charge into the unknown. <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. I think there's a guy here. Many books. Uh, it has not been used for a long time. Long time. Long time no use. Most of them are on chemistry. <laughs> Jeez, okay, we get it. They're a pharmaceutical corporation. Jesus Christ. There's no, there are no files here. This isn't, this is not one. Hello, lady. May I push your switch? Oh, there we go. So we need that. We need to push this in, but don't overdo it. Uh, I love that bit. Ibaki Chibutu. <laughs> this is optional. This is only if we want to save Chrissy. Chrissy. Let's save Chrissy. Comrade Chrissy, you come with us. We need three discs to save Chrissy. A one disc. A two disc. A three disc. Anything in the drawer? Nothing in the drawer. Okay. Okay, game. I get you. Let me through, show. 
Where is my Google Translate? <laughs> it's in Translatevania. Ha 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 ha! I get shot. Streamer cancelled for bad joke. <laughs> Charge! Oh, goodbye, good music. I love that music. Oh, I love this one too. Well, the Resident Evil 1 soundtrack as a whole is amazing. Unlike the modern games, the, the remakes, which have no soundtracks, it just hears ambiental sounds to you. Oh, you get a save theme for five seconds. That's enough of save theme for you. Go back to environmental stuff. Plus, we're gonna take the full ending. Since we didn't do the full ending in Resident Evil 2 remake, oh, we're just gonna take that uh, song and use it in a random sequence, random place in the next game, just because we couldn't use it. Yeah, people, people, people stick to the bad songs from the Dual Shock one. It's got some horrible stuff, but it's also some good, got some good stuff like by default. But then some people, there we go. That's that's what we're doing all this for, for a battery, like a car battery. Um, somebody in my on my Discord posted it's Trollsaurus and I forgot who else was there. Well, maybe Carter did too. Um, no, mayo, mayo, mayo hazard. Uh, the same, like for instance, the basement theme, which everybody knows, like that's the that's that's the the number one <laughs> bad song, bad bad track, and uh, yeah, 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 that's it, that's it. Uh, just different instruments, because it's MIDI, right? Just different instruments, you get a whole different passable track. Yeah, that's right. Okay, we can move the elevator, and we got the explosive rounds, which I'll use a lot on hunters from this point. Yeah, I I, I really hope we're going to finish this tonight. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I had a mini stroke there. I'm good now. So I think the smartest thing to do here, I don't think there's that, nothing... It's gonna be a little longer but safer for two reasons one uh, one because of the well the hunters and two because of the room that might freeze the game so I'm gonna avoid it yeah there's nothing else left here to unlock damn good memory considering how a remake is way more way fresher in my mind we're gonna go down using the elevator and then through the grave thingy, back to the east portion of the mansion and just run out. Yeah, you did. I'm pretty sure Trollsaurus was there. You at least commented and Mayo Hazard was there too. When we talked about it just the other day, it's. I think it was in the video games channel. It's a very so this instead of this track, Lupka, on that. It's like it's a story <laughs> that <laughs> Resident Evil fans know. So there was an improved version of Resident Evil original Resident Evil One. There was this version, just Resident Evil One, Resident Evil. Then the second version was the director's cut, which fixed some mistakes, spelling errors, fixed some puzzles, and it introduced like easy and hard modes. Auto-aim, that was a present in the Japanese version, but not in the Western one. And then um, there was the DualShock edition, which was the PlayStation 1 exclusive. It supported the uh, analog sticks instead of using the D-pad like we do on like these old games the you know the cross <laughs> but it also had an updated soundtrack which just was mostly shit <laughs> i actually had that game for a short while got it turned it on heard the music i was like my console's broken that was my first thought my console's broken and i traded it for the like the original playstation 1 version without auto aim without analog controls but with proper music 
never looked back. <laughs> it's true. Still, still a lot of geofencing on YouTube. Me! It's just the Resident Evil 1 Dual Shock Edition. Oh, it was bad. Yeah, the, the Dual Shock Edition. I thought, because that's the first time I booted it on the PlayStation 2, I thought, oh my, oh, holy shit, my console's broken. Because I already knew that, like, Slim, PlayStation 2 Slim, it, they cut on some chips to make it uh, slimmer. <laughs> They took out the power supply, so that's why you have the power brick on the slim model, not on the regular one. But they also, some of the, like two chips, I think one of them is the PlayStation 1 sound chip, and the other one I could be the PlayStation 1 main CPU. They were emulated, condensed on a single chip, which made, it, it just had issues with some PS1 games, even some PS2 games. For instance, Final Fantasy V on a PlayStation 2 slim sounds like, Someone's just like scratching the chalkboard while screaming out of tune and uh, pulling a cat's tail at the same time. I can't imagine it's bad. <laughs> Take that, troll source. So that's why I thought, you know, that happened with Resident Evil, you know, because I was so happy to have the Dual Shock Edition. Like, it's got Dual Shock. You can't go, you know, can't go wrong with that. Wait, something's fucky here. I messed up. Oh, we'll do it. Again. So. Knife. Shotgun shells. Uh, bazooka. Rounds, rounds, rounds. Magnum. Ammo. Hmm. I can put this away. Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West. I can combine the ink ribbon. Which is up. I know, I put it there. You don't have to tell me where it is. <laughs> That's an extra step nobody needed. Being, you know, having to do this. Like, to combine them outside. Actually, yeah, after I did that, so let's not forget about these two. So you are gonna go, you're staying with me. You're going there. There you go. All set. <laughs> yeah, you guys like arguing. I noticed. <laughs> it was hard not to. What's 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 left? That's it, just a battery and run out. And I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a typewriter in the cave, so I'm gonna bring the ink ribbon as well. As far as health goes, I'm positive we'll find some. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, if I remember correctly, so in the remake, there's an item box and a typewriter, but in this one, there's just, there's just a typewriter there. Oh, thanks for the raid, Sexy Wesky. Welcome, welcome, raiders. Welcome to Resident Evil 1 on the Sega Saturn. How are you doing, Wesky? This version is called No Auto Aim, Balls to the Wall. Hi, Simon. Raid. Oh, there's a sh yeah oh, shit. I forgot about that guy. I'll be back in the zippy, boy. Don't mind me. I forgot there's a hunter there in the original. <laughs> okay. Take two. <laughs> did I say did I say y'all shit? I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I just heard the hunter's footsteps and I'm like, oh shit, I fucked up. Suck on that boy. Shh. 
Shuck my boomstick. We're gonna go back to explosive rounds now. It's going great, Wesky. It's going great. Hopefully, I'll finish a Resident Evil 1 playthrough. This is the third time I'm tempting. PlayStation 1 PAL version froze near the end at the fountain. Japanese Saturn version froze in the lab, lab uh, laboratory. This is the Jap this is the Saturn PAL version. Hopefully this one doesn't freeze. Though we did have a couple of freezes. That's why I'm saving more often. How was your stream? Did someone shout this man out? Shout... Is that how you say it? Yeah, nobody did. Hold on. I'll do it if nobody wants to. Oh, we're gonna have snakes. Let's not forget about snakes. Hold on a sec. Hey. Oh, there we go. Somebody did it. Thanks, sis. There you go. I was gonna say I didn't even teach you the basic commands. I wanted to... I wanted to surprise you with your new role. Again, man, Wesky. Does it hurt when your balls drag on the ground like that? <laughs> oh, gee, that's... Yeah, you did, sis. It's, it's there. You should be able to see it as an announcement. It's not in the... It's in the chat. It's not in the stream. Maybe I should... I should... Shouldn't let that be an announcement. God, I forgot the crank. I need a crank too. That's what I forgot. Well, that's okay, sis. Don't worry. Take your time. So how did you did you finish the game, Professor? You know, the only thing worse than that you can do is like knife run with invisible enemies. <laughs> the ultimate. I could have gone to the to the guardhouse. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm going to save a couple of door loadings. Because these, these things take forever. I sh I'm just going to go to the guardhouse, to the item box there. I forgot it's even there. Oh, bravo, man. Bravo. You can't... Well, does anybody in the chat please help me? Did you see the shout-out, the announcement? So it's not gonna be on the stream chat because it's an announcement. It's gonna be in the well in the Twitch chat. Maybe I just make it not be an announcement. Well at at any rate you can click on the man's name. Check out Professor Wesker. As I call him, Sexy Weshki. Oh yeah, it's only a mod command, Carter. It's not in chat. Maybe it's just a Twitch fart. Snakes, oh my god, the snakes. Snakes, 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 snakes. I just, we're not sure that, um... Uh... Oh, okay, okay. Grizzle Jabarkas says it's in the... He saw it. I wasn't sure if the Lubitsa couldn't see the the shout out for Professor Wesker. Okay. Okay. Did I bring the battery? Look at this. If I didn't bring the battery, oh good, I did. Okay. I'm pretty sure I can, but okay, game. The battery is pulled out. Well, pull it in, Jill. There you go. I think it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a lot faster to do it from here. Just go to the item box. <gasps> there we go. Hi, John. Good to see you. How are you doing, buddy? I wasn't sure if you're working, if you're sleeping. Could be. Make sure you don't have the mod, um, the admin chat on. I'm not sure if you can see announcements in the admin chat. Because, like, now you should have two versions of the chat. Like the viewer one and the admin one.
When did John come in? I just saw him shout, shout out. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably something screwy. Maybe it. Maybe they didn't put the announcements in the mobile. Wouldn't be surprised. Surprised. Twitch committing a cock up. No way. Hmm. I'm actually gonna save here. Bring the crank. Save here, so I can save that one uh, item slot. Maybe even bring the magnum for those hunters. How many do I have? Twelve, eighteen. Maybe instead of the grenades, I bring the magnum because it's faster. We're gonna have ticks, Sega Saturn exclusive enemies, which are kind of a hybrid of uh, hunters and chimeras. So maybe the the, the magnum is the better option. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. Just use the bloody grenades. Jill didn't use, didn't learn to use the keyboard, so she types safely, slowly and safely. Yeah, you know what? We don't need no help when we have got all, all this firepower. Oh boy. Hey, Wesky. Wesker, I wanted to ask you something. Do you like Sims? I've never seen you play The Sims. I might need to take a break. Run downstairs for some water. And a quick bathroom break. It's a wall, Jill. Oh, you didn't. It just sounded like something that you, you'd like. And I'm asking because we got like the only missing game from the series Sims 2 for the PlayStation 2. I really want to play that actually. <laughs> With Sasha in co-op. So we got everything. We got the crank. We got to close the water now and move on. And I thought of you, Wesky, because I know you play, like, you like these, like, strategy simulation games. And I never saw you play The Sims, like any of them, so I was wondering if you ever played that. Or if it's something you like playing. I don't know, I like the first two, like, the first two games on the consoles, I like very much, because they included the co-op. It's just... It's weird and magnificent to play with something like Sims in co-op with someone. But then the third and fourth game on the consoles, they're just not as good. Those are actually more enjoyable on the, on the PC. And there's like 50 spin-offs and expansions. Can't know them all. Square Crank, that's our saving grace. That's a very weird mechanism. It can't work like that in reality. Either it moves, I mean, there's no either. It's gotta move with the movements of the crank. Kinda like when she's opening the, yeah, that's what we want. Like when she's opening the shutter in Resident Evil 3 of the gas station. Oh God, I don't know. I just like looking at the dithering effect. Cause I know that's not transparent. I know you're trying to fool me game. It's not really transparent. You just didn't draw all of it. And it's unique to this console. PlayStation 1 and uh, PC did actual transparency. Transparency. It's kind of an oversight. From today's perspective. How, what do you mean you didn't program transparency into your console? How do you draw water? Well, we just don't draw every, uh, every other pixel to get your transparent water. For the old TVs, it made a lot of sense. It's cheaper to do. 
Oh, we cut that dog off. Okay, it's time for the ticks. Before we move on, I'm just gonna take that quick bathroom break. I'll be back in three to five minutes. Very hastily. Sorry, kitty. Don't go anywhere, folks. I'll be right back with more Resident Evil on the Sega Saturn. See you soon. Welcome back, folks, to Resident Evil 1 on the Saturn. And Carter, that made me think of Naked Gun, for fuck's sake. <laughs> You know when he goes, I think it's the first movie, when he goes to the bathroom with the, <laughs> with the mic attached, starts singing. There's a hexagonal hole, too bad we have a square one. A hole has opened and I can't jump over it. I can't jump over it! Okay, it's gonna get tricky now and I gotta be careful good thing about the uh, explosive rounds I will say they are slower than the magnum infinitely <laughs> but you can get a twofer with them <laughs> oh, gee. oh Jill what good timing a moment ago I heard someone's voice coming from this hole Let's go together since it's dark and we from can't see hole. very well. I think the original text was from this cave. It was just a bad translation. So if I zombie zombie chow told me I never pick the other options and I'm not gonna do it now. This is a reminder run, but I think if you don't go with him, he dies or something like that. So I'm gonna go go with him. Yep. Okay, let's go. Okay, then I'm gonna cover you. Let's hurry. Hey, are you all right? I can go first if you want me to. Don't let him go first. Okay, let's go, Barry. I'm depending on you. Okay, what she meant was no, we'll go together. Okay, this is where the ticks will be. Now let's see, because I don't have the map of this place. I'm just gonna guess. I think I should go over there first. But I'm gonna go here instead. It's gonna be easier to kill the monsters together as long as I have them with me. Oh, no hunters if Barry comes, huh? First aid spray, nope. But these babies, yes. That makes 18 total. Feel a little safer already. And that's about it. It's a power generator, right? Yeah. But doesn't seem to work because we didn't get to finish it. We left that for the remake. One of the best cutscenes coming. I think this goes back to the same place, right? Yeah, it's kind of circular like that. So there's only one place I can go now. We're gonna see Enrico! <laughs> there's a tick. There we go. That's it, huh? Enrico! Yeah. Is that Jill? Is that voice Enrico's? Yeah. Alive. <laughs> Wait there. Are you with anybody, Jill? What? Oh yes. Enrico. So, Barry and Jill together. Are you all right, Enrico? <laughs> yeah. The stars are doomed. Someone is a traitor. Everything was plotted from the start by Umbrella. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. 
I love it. How he grunts before being shot. He goes, ha! Enrico! <laughs> Guys, if you didn't, go to YouTube and look for <laughs> Resident Hazard. <laughs> Split sides. He couldn't have been moved. He couldn't have moved because of his injury. He's holding something. He's holding the clips, right? Yeah, I'm not gonna take those. Barry's just gonna crouch there and look at him. Barry's investigating. Don't slurp his blood, Barry. We know what you're after. Now there should be like somebody was running around with Crank. He lost. When he shot Enrico. Oh no, I dropped my crank in the dark cave. It's a crank, but when Jill checks it, it becomes a hex shaped crank. Hex hex crank. It's like abbreviation. Okay, I gotta focus now. Now we're gonna have ticks. Can't save for a while. There's gonna be ticks and rocks trying to kill me and giant spiders and oh god, I have no flame rounds. I think I should have just shot it, but it's too late now. I should have shot it. I was afraid the other one will just jump out from behind the corner. I think they can decapitate or like, no, they don't decapitate, but they do have an insta-kill attack. So must be cautious. Fuck it. I'm not saving these rounds. Well, that's what I was afraid of. Oh, gee. Okay, so far so good. 15 left. There's gonna be two more later when I come back. Hmm, not nervous at all. I think the, the last part of the game is the chillest. You have all the ammo, you have all the health, you have not so difficult enemies. We have to animate all of this, just so you're not confused. Just turning it all the way. Okay. I can't remember exactly how the cave goes in the OG. So I'm just gonna play it by feel. From memory. Which is mostly <laughs> tainted with the remake layout. Ah, it's the time for the rock. Oh, the cock rock. Can I go backwards? Is that an option? Or is she gonna turn herself? She's gonna, don't mind me, I'm just a Jill. Run, Jillian. Yeah, okay, that has to happen. That's right. Keep forgetting how it's gonna... Oh, good, I'll need it for the Black Tiger. Oh! <laughs> okay. This is mostly scary now because I don't remember it as well. Yep, I remember you, guy. I have no health, so this is gonna... We're gonna have to be quick with this, boy. Oh, gee. Oh, boy, I'll need some health. Danger. Yeah, I gotta go back. Don't move on. Go back, get some health. 
It's okay, it should be clear going back to the guardhouse. And I should be able to load, yeah, to load the flame rounds now for the Black Tiger. Which is what I'm gonna do. Too easy to get stun lock, really. They just start slapping. It's like in RE3, in the OG RE3, when you uh, fire a well leveled up uh, freeze round at Nemi. And he just goes, err, err, err. I love that. Not so sure about climbing this ladder. I'm going to stop and think about it. Oh, Christ. I thought I saw another thick. <laughs> No more, please. There's gonna be a few of them down there. Then after that, when we get to the lab, it's all easy. Easy peasy. Be smart and save. Hmm. Okay. Ooh. I think it's just because it's changing the level, it's changing the the map, <laughs> it loads longer and with more zig zig sound effects. But it's scary nevertheless. Yeah, Phyllis. <laughs> I could never... Phyllis Port something I could never for remember his name but when I hear it I know it let's try a double green see what happens to Jill when she has a double green she's got less HP yeah that's like that's that's enough for her maybe it's not hundred percent but it's right up there bring another yeah I don't even know what it means actually I never googled it and I am curious. Let's bring some HP items. Because after this it's going to be smooth. And a blue herb. Because I will get poisoned. And save. Actually, you know what? Save. I said I will save often. I promised. Can't break a promise. I'm going to bring all, both. Do I need the cranks? I'll, I'll need them after Black Tiger. I'm sure. But not right now. I think. Damn, I'm not sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep him. Fuck it. Just need room for the, for the knife. I remember him when he was uh, on Channel Awesome. Well, that guy with the glasses back then. In the best days of Nostalgia Critic. Did I drop it? Yeah, I did. It is, it is different, I can hear it, okay. What is that? Still a zombie fisherman? Me too, man. Ah, oh, of course you like the Spoonie experience. I think his last good videos were about 2016 when he was doing Final Fantasy 13 reviews and Ultima retrospective and after that I don't think he did anything well at least not nothing as you know robust and funny I don't even know he's doing something 
Felix is a zombie fisherman. Okay, I didn't know that. Is that from a legend or something? If I went back there, I would be faced with two ticks, but we're not going back there. It was, it was, from zero to nine. What's the last one? Was it nine? He's the one who got me into the Ultima games. I just heard about it before that. I still didn't watch that, you know. I actually wanted to play the game first, because I never did, and it's on my list. And it's like one thing from the old Spoonie experiment I can still watch. Oh, really? I should actually look into that. I enjoy watching Spoonie a lot. I loved his humor and his rants. Here we go, Black Tiger fight. Battle, fight. Me burning the giant spider. Oh, stop poisoning me, dick. Oh, wow, that was fast. Three spits. She's not Chris. She's no Chris, I'll tell you that. Okay. We'll bring more health and less cranks. He just spat at me three times. I don't think he punched me once. Well, she, it's a giant spider. <sighs> okay. Good thing I went back there and saved. This is no... Can't compare it to the director's cut version. By the time I aim at it, already fed me to its children. So, A now. Haha, <laughs> I learned. I learned from my past mistakes. Well, because it's a spider, just... As far as I know, only female spiders do the spidery thing, like in the... As it is in the... In the insect world, like all the bees and wasps you see are females, because, you know, that's what they do. The males are just for making babies, and then... I don't think they eat their heads off like the praying mantises, but... Pretty sure they don't live, because they basically outlive their usefulness. And I know a lot of spiders do that. Now, I'm not sure which... So this spider... These spiders... Hex, square, stick... Leave the square. I don't think I'll need a square one anymore. I'm just gonna leave it here. Metal, metal. Then another crank. There you go, metal. Let's bring another health item. I didn't get to shoot it once when it destroyed me. There you go, two double herbs. Um, not in this one. Even the babies attack. So yeah, that's how we know it's a she, because uh, when you kill it, a lot of babies rush out of it, which is, like, this game is where I learned that Spider can do that. At first I thought it was just unique to Resident Evil, but then I heard from people later. Oh yeah, actually, some spiders do that. If you step on them, the hundreds of little babies will just start running around. It's funny thing, so the, the, the basic spider enemies that we've seen, we fought two of them in the last episode. They're called web spinners, but because of their mutation, they lost the ability to spin silk, you know, to make cobwebs. But the black tiger can do it. She kept that ability yeah not all the not all the spider breeds <laughs> I guess species no breeds have the you know carry their young like that so when you step on them they run I've never seen that myself <laughs> Any spider I squash in the house, it just there's nothing coming out of it. Hi! Hi, David. Hi, Jen. How are you guys doing? <clears throat> Sorry, man. I didn't know. I mentioned it earlier. I didn't know that uh, you're not going to be home. I put this on schedule last week, and I was like, ah, oh, surely he knows about it. But then just before I was starting, but maybe I should call him, let him know that I'm doing this. Oh, good. This is hard, man. Without the auto-aim, like the biohazard version, the Japanese version, was so much easier. 
This year I died twice because of the lack of, you know, aiming. By the time I turned towards them, like Black Tiger just killed me once, so I'm gonna try again. <clears throat> just try to fill it full of flame rounds and hopefully it'll be done quickly. It's easy to get stun locked and just get tortured. Stop that. Okay, it was three slaps last time. Fuck it. I'm gonna see if it... That's it, I think. Three fire flame rounds, right? Yeah, there you go. Now it's gonna release its young, so I have to just leave the room. Will it, though? Does it do that? Fuck it, I'll just go. I don't know if it does that when you kill it with flame rounds. I can't remember. Ah. Okay. Yeah, they're coming out. There they are. <laughs> okay. Just three rounds. So, <laughs> that's kind of fair, you gotta say. It's, you know, she spat at me three times, I died. I spat at her three times, she died. The difference is, she was spitting poison, I was spitting fire. Fire! Pew pew pew! <laughs> I'm gonna eat one of these. Too bad you didn't bring David with you. I mean David King from Outbreak, not not our David. I'm sorry. Pew pew pew! <laughs> Where your bazooka and your shotgun fail, and your crank is useless, use the combat knife, Jill. Use it. Stab them cobwebs. Uh, uh. Cut and slice and dice. Fuck you, cobweb. Uh, uh. I guess you gotta, you gotta cut straight. Can't go up or down. So David, we had two freezes in the same one room in the western part of the mansion second floor it's got a little issues running so i had to restart the, the twice but after that it loaded well so i think the laser just needs a tune-up it's gonna be sexy i think we gotta move the lens and clean you know under the lens so we're gonna do that once. Ah, there we go. I don't need anything but the ink ribbon. And there's no room, is it there? Yep. I wonder what the ticks are gonna react. What are they gonna react like to the to the flame rounds? Let's find out. Don't need the blue unless I get bitten by a snake. A snake. I'm gonna bring this, but I'm gonna leave this. That's why I leave the left the room for it from the start of the game. There we go. Two combat knives. Same model, same make. Yeah, I think this will be fine. I, I'm not gonna carry the shotgun for a while. Clip. So, brother, clip shotgun shells. There you go. Yeah. Maybe we don't even need to do that. Maybe we just need to, you know... Because I, I know dust builds up between the lens and the, the laser. It's hard to get there, so we just gotta... Ooh! I got some new tools. You'll like to see them. Next time you come over, we're gonna geek over the tools. Ah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it's good to have two. We gotta get more of these consoles. Well, there's well, they still exist there. The crank. I don't think I need the other crank. No other key item. Yeah. I gotta say, I love this version of the game, man. It's a snakes. <laughs> it's not snakes. It is a snakes. 
different than the PlayStation 1. But it also, aside from the loading, I really hope that's the laser and not just the version of the game. But especially between levels, like here when you're going from the courtyard to the house, it takes longer to load. This is the elevator, right? But I really hope it's because... Uh, ah, shit. Uh, did I save? I did not save. I shouldn't die here. Right? I wanna... I wanna... I should've saved. Oh, fuck. I don't think... I think it'll be good. How do I trigger this? I forgot. Run towards it? Ah, now it's... Now I'll have to trigger it. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll try, sis, if I don't die now. I have to kill the Black Tiger again. <laughs> There's the map. Right after we finish this section, we get the map. Okay, I live. Oh boy, I thought for a second I fucked up. Hi, rock. Fuck you, rock. You don't get me. You don't scare me. I have legs to move away from you. It's a map of the underground. It's the underground of the biohazard. Um, the second no disc. Hex, okay. No, oh, now doing this three times. When people say bad puzzles and shutter memories, I'm just gonna bring this up. <laughs> So tedious. There are some good puzzles and then there's this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is. Even for me. <laughs> uh, we done? What did I get over there? Yeah, the ammo disc. Here we go. <clears throat> I hope, I hope I don't need the square crank in here. I really hope. Yes, hex, okay. So, <clears throat> I remember first time I got here in this puzzle. Opened up a new world of possibilities. Or you can do that? Crank it up. You can do it. Boop. All right, this is the second Doom book. Doom book two, the ultimate Doom book. <laughs> this one is also Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West. I love that they reuse these medals in the. Um, in Resident Evil 2. And I do miss them in the remake. Eagle of the East, Wolf of the West is like a cult Resident Evil thing. Is it though? <laughs> or is it just me that likes it? <laughs> okay, sis, I'm gonna honor your save, damn it. Before moving on. Through the door. Okay, we're very close to the end game. Provided it doesn't freeze in a very 
weird spot we're gonna finish it. Oh, snakes! Not the snakes! Please stop the snakes! Oh, okay. Those snakes are going out of the walls. I smell shit fuckery. Oh, look, it's loading faster than what it was in the house. Okay, so now, now we need both metals. Eagle of the East. Where are you, Eagle? Eagle! Another new disc. The other crank. <clears throat> Help. I can get the shells back. Right? Yeah. Bazooka. Blah, blah. And blah. Actually, I don't need this because I'm going to find some herbs up there. <clears throat> triple, triple. Okay, that's good. That's good. And I over a save. That's right. How many ink ribbons left? 13. That's unlucky. The thing is, so with Resident Evil games and Silent Hill games, it's kind of a point of honor for me, point of pride to beat the game without saving or maybe saving twice at best. But I gotta, you know, I gotta admit when it's too much for me. I only played the, the no auto aim version twice. No, this is the second time, third time. Yeah, twice before this. So it's smart to do it, especially yeah, I know. Especially since, a hey, well, it's a different type of game. Different, well, just la the, the lack of auto aim, you gotta change your strategy. You gotta, you gotta put the big boy pants on. <laughs> and, uh, snakes! Oh, not the snakes! Please, anything but the snakes! Oh, snakes! But, uh, instead of, uh... Oh, fuck! It's trash day, I forgot. Not, not knowing if it's gonna load the next room or not. There's another reason why I should do it more often in this run. The, the stakes are high. <laughs> like I said in that clip I published today. <laughs> the stakes are high, but the rewards are, you know, sweeter. David, do you notice that the elevator is a little different from the PlayStation version? Especially when it's moving. It's welded and does not open. Why did you weld the doors? Oh, I think because they didn't want to want to let the researchers leave the room. So okay guys, this is the this is the spot where the PlayStation 1 version doesn't load on the console I first tried streaming. It does load on the other console, but we're not doing that. We're doing the the Saturn version. So this is the first critical point. The second critical point where the Japanese Saturn version didn't uh, want to cooperate is the the lab computer. Let's see, map, courtyard. So west is the side where I came from. Let's see if the map's true. Never check that. Picture of a wolf. Yep, the wolf is on the west. The map doesn't lie. So it's George Trevor was really into like Perfect orienting. <laughs> no, I know it's... I know it's to make it easier for the players. Okay. The Wolf of the West is in place. Can't even check that here. The Eagle of the East is next. Come on. Okay, this is already near the end of the disc, like near the outer edge, so, you know, it's harder for the laser to keep track of the disc and focus on it. As far as the laser is concerned, like, so so near the, uh, the outer edge of the disc, it's just head-banging constantly, trying to read the disc. Okay, the final section of the game, here we go. It just gets easier from here, kind of. 
well, with all the with the whole armory I'm carrying, it's gonna be okay. Yeah, you can hear it's loading the next area. There we go. Okay. Uh... Yeah, this is where we'll escape. Door is tightly locked. There's a plate on the right hand side. Emergency exit. Will not open unless under first class emergency. Is that like the emergency for the rich? This is familiar from uh, Resident Evil 2 XDR or something similar in the sewer doors. B1 is in like basement one. Yeah, I am in basement one. Whew. I'm gonna drop this. Actually, I'm gonna drop this too because I'm gonna need some room now. Clip shotgun shells, bazooka explosive, then flame acid. Yeah, that's right. Just gonna keep the bazooka for now. Uh, ammo discs. How was it here? I think I gotta you gotta ins yeah, you gotta insert them in certain areas. So I'm just gonna bring this for now. I think I know where I need to insert them. Again, remake is messing with my head. Which is cool because it kinda feels like a strange game again. <laughs> oh hi sir. Designer shirt and all. Come on! Oh, you bitch! Did you poison me? You didn't. Nice puke. Oh yeah, there's the third ammo disc. Okay. Uh, yeah, the so the game is, like, let's say 80% of the game is identical, only with much better graphics. But the puzzles have been shuffled because people played this game so many times. It, it's different. In some items you, you use for other puzzles, this MO disc thing is also done differently. And the layout is mostly identical, but there are some additional areas and more story in the remake. It's one of... It's, well, I know I do, but and I know some of the people who come to these streams. A lot of it is one of the best, if not the, like the example of the remake done right. I'm gonna just carry one of these because I can't remember where they are. I know I'm gonna run across at least one of them. Let's mix the herbs. I forgot to do that. One big difference is uh Lyubka in the remake zombies like if you don't if you don't decapitate them if you don't you know blow their heads off they come back to life but they come back fiercer much harder to kill they they can run after they come back they're called crimson heads they basically mutate one step further there that's the step between the zombie and the liquor is the crimson heads and to prevent that, you either gotta decapitate them or burn their corpses. And to burn their corpses, you gotta carry a lighter and a flask called Chuturitsa with gasoline, not gasoline, kerosene. So if you kill a zombie, then you don't decapitate it, then you don't have the flask on you. If you don't come back in like a certain time, they come back. On higher difficulties, it's faster, but even on lower difficulties, it can be shitty. 
These guys will be there infinitely. I shouldn't kill them. Pale heads. I never. I didn't know their names until uh, Resident Evil 3 remake. I'm not even sure if they came up with that name before. I just called them naked zombies. Is it here? A passcode panel. You don't have the passcode. That's right. So this is different. Like in in the remake, there are three levers here. You gotta pull after you do what I'm about to do. Electronically locked. Okay. What about this one? Ah, yeah, this puzzle is also different. Researcher's letter. June 8th, 1998. Dear Ada. Ada, why didn't you just say your name twice? <laughs> By the time you read this, I'll be something different. Today's test turned out to be positive, just as I expected. I feel like going crazy when I think about becoming one of them. Ada, you're not infected and I hope you, will ne you never will be. In case you're the last one left, take the material in the visual data room and go to the power room to operate the triggering system before you escape. <laughs> the triggering system. That has a different connotation nowadays. <laughs> oh my god, it's Mayo Hazard. And Maxi Snake. Hey, Snake, Snake! I was just calling your name. See? It, it paid off. I was calling for snakes earlier and Snake popped into the stream. How are you doing, guys? It's the, it's the Paul Saturn version, Mayo. So no auto aim, which cost me a game over twice already. So yeah, I'm doing good, Snakey. I'm doing good. I'm enjoying this game a lot. Here, have this. <laughs> is it is it good for, is it good for uh, the living things? <laughs> How are you doing, Snakey? Thanks for the prime sub, Snake. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I thought you were doing the berry. <laughs> it's good for living things. Did I read this? I think I pressed the button by accident. <laughs> LJ. <laughs> Where was I? Triggering system, that's right. I may call this public through the media. If everything is in order, all the locks can be opened by the security system. You can access the system if you log in with my name from the terminal in the small lab and enter the password. The password is your name. To unlock the door at B2 where the visual data room is located, you'll need to access with our names first and then enter another password. I've written the code below and I'm sure you'll understand it easily. And this is my last hope. If you find me completely changed, Please kill me yourself. Password is Brewer. Yours, John. Thank you, Snakey. I appreciate it, man. I'm happy to see you here. Oh, enjoy the, the walk with the doggos, Mayo. Okay, so it's Merm. Okay, we gotta solve this. Again. The remake version is in my head now. Is it Mole here? I think. John. Ada. No, it's Jill. You don't. That's not how you do it. You should say Ada. <laughs> the moment when I realized in Resident Evil 2 when you meet Ada that it's this, you know, it's the Ada from this document, it blew my little mind. I was like, oh my god, this is a whole new level of storytelling in video games. Isn't there a clip in this, in the OG? Oh, did they now? Good to hear, Snake, good to hear. I hope things are getting better. What was here? Ah, yeah, I remember now. So we gotta figure out which letters these are. I think it was Mole in the original. Again, I'm not sure played a lot of remake recently so I got a is the clip here yeah okay my memory serves me well clip in a box 
LJ. Was that Morshi? Did Morshi come up with that? <laughs> there we go. All right. What do I need to? Tree apple man woman. Okay. Tree apple man woman. And then we gotta decipher. Oh, that effect is very nice on the Saturn. So, tree, apple, man, woman. M. O. Yeah, it is mole. It is mole. Okay. Is, be is, it, is Ada the mole? Who did what? Sorry. Okay. Now I gotta find that computer. The layout of the lab is pretty much in the, the, the identical in the remake and the Monty Mole. <laughs> Was that is that uh, Dragon Quest Eight? Oh look, the pale heads are responding. Say hello to my little friend. Oh, nice. I love when the shotgun clips multiple enemies. Sir, please. Ah! My bad. Sir, please. I'm just trying to reload my gun here. Did I reload it? I think it re reloads. Yeah, it counts. Damn you. But I got weed. It's medicinal. Don't you know? Love that sound. Oh god, I love it. It's locked from inside. Power room. The door is tightly locked. Who the fuck's gonna see? Oh, gee. No more, right? I think that's it. Yeah. Come on, don't fail me now, laser. I need to finish this game. It will make my life a lot better. Okay, here we go. Nothing useful. Here we go. Super Mario World. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It's not. It's the other. It was Don Mole in, uh, in Dragon Quest VIII. This computer is used to open the electronic locks. Will you turn it on? Don't freeze now, computer. Please. So on the Biohazard version, we had an issue here. Hopefully, we don't have it in this version. Now or ever, that's right. Work with me. Ah. The Ruppels, the umbrella Ruppel system. John. I gotta love the umbrella ABCD keyboards. They, they, they surpass the QWERTY keyboards we regular mortals have. This is so easy to use. <laughs> uh, John, password, A. Ada! I like how she, like, when she's idle, she goes. <laughs> then starts tapping on the. Come on. Woo! So B2 needs an additional code, right? I love this. I used to, like, this. As a kid, I went wild on this scene. You can actually see her waiting, getting bored. And the other password is mole. She moves her hands away. And, like, thinks about it. <laughs> it's so good. It's too good for its time. That's not how you type mole, but it's an umbrella keyboard. <laughs> uh... Oh, sorry, sis. Sorry to hear that. Unlocked, okay. B3. That's it. I think we're, we're past the critical point, David. Hopefully the last one. Gotcha. <laughs> My man. Are we done? Yes. You gotta log out, it's just, you know, it's 
it's polite. You know, it's, that's what cultural people do. They log out when they use evil corporations' computers. <laughs> I will. I will, bro. I will. I learned my lesson. Welcome back. Chip. Seems to be some kind of research report. Can she open it here? No, it's in the remake too. No Kenneth tape either in this version. This sick fox trying to eat popcorn. Nothing special. Various devices and chemicals. Nothing useful. Not even gonna look into the locker, huh? Nothing special. Nothing here. What is this? Like, nothing special? Looks like a tanning boot. Is it a tanning boot? Hmm. That's it? Okay. I will save. I will. I'm gonna go do the puzzle and save. I'll be right next to the save room, too. Oh, what the fuck? That's different. I think on the... I think in the PlayStation version, all of them... Ooh, that was close. That was close. All of them respawn, not just one guy. Lulu's Incubator? Ah, Fifth Element. Okay, I, I immediately thought of Lulu from Final Fantasy X. Don't mind me. <laughs> Should be. Are there more pale heads here? Do I have room? Yep, I do. I have the slides. And the room is unlocked. You mean Lilu? Lilu Dallas. Okay, yeah, that's what confused me. Lilu Dallas Multipass. Security system. Basement, level 1. Helicopter port. Executives and government officials only on helicopter port. This restriction may not apply in case of an accident. Passage to the helicopter. <laughs> to the chopper! <laughs> no one is allowed to enter unless they are attended by a research consultant or security director. All other will be shot in sight. <laughs> and will the last thing they will hear is Hasta la vista, researcher. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Basement level 2. Visual data room. Visual data room is within the control of special research division. Key Tarwing, the room manager, is designated to have jurisdiction over room usage. Basement level 3. Prison. Sanitation division controls the usage of the prison. Sultan researchers E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Wesker, Owa, must be present if virus is used. Triple lock door. No one is allowed to enter unless he presents all passcode documents. All of them, Morty. Passcode documents must be created on the specialized output machine by the chief researcher of each block. Power room. Only headquarters supervisors may enter. This restriction may not apply if the consultant researcher has received special instructions. He's turning into a 90s dude slowly. <laughs> passcode output machine. No one is allowed to use the passcode output machine but the chief researchers. Basement level 4. Top secret. Regarding the progress of Tyrant after the use of T-Virus, remaining document is unreadable. Somebody fell asleep. Somebody fell asleep writing this, I guess. Oh, there should be one new disk console here. There's a panel. Will you open it? I would love to. There's a switch. Will you push it? Stop asking me questions. That's it. All we got for the switch. A screen. <gasps> no shit. A projector. Oh, you're not gonna show us. No, there's no slide filter here, is there? Unfamiliar physics symbols are written here. The lab key. A strange mark is carved here. I, uh, it's the, it's the logo of, oh, it's not, it's actually a strange mark, that's like, literally, power key. 
Proom key. <laughs> it's the Proom key. We had the Kroom key, now we have the Proom key. An intercom. It does not seem to be operated. Smells like sabotage. Okay, let's put the slides in. No slide filter here, right? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it is the Brotherhood of Nod. Nice catch. I mean, it's not really, but I get it. I get it. <laughs> Umbrella Incorporated. Bioweapon materials. <laughs> Bioorganic weapon official report. MA-39 Cerberus. Pretty good render. FI or Phi-3 Neptune. It's not FI because the I is lowercase. Phi-3? MA-121 Hunter. The best enemy in the series. T-002 Tyrant. <laughs> the name's Tyrant. The first Tyrant. I don't know what's his last name. Yeah, I do remember. I do remember. I instigated that. <laughs> All of those explorations. And it's a placeholder for another one. Bioweapon Research Institute. R&D staff. Look, that guy looks like my boss. What is going on here? Always, like, when I was a kid, it confused me. I was like, oh, that looks like Wesker. But she's not saying anything, so that definitely isn't Wesker. But that one document said, hey, Wesker. Bah. Could be some other Wesker. Maybe it's Amy Wesker or, you know, <laughs> Andrea Wesker. <laughs> Let's save. Can I even save here? Is there? There's no typewriter here, guys. I gotta get to the other. Yeah, this is just. Yeah, there's no typewriter. But I know where where it is. I remember. We gotta go get down. We gotta get down to the other level. <laughs> yeah. XDR B2. Yeah, it's it's basement. I never noticed that. I noticed it in, in B1, but I didn't notice it on this wall. Oh, they're not yeah, they had they were connected to shelters, the shelters, and I think we even got into one of the shelters. What did I unlock? I unlocked two doors now. Let's check this one first. Yeah, they were bomb shelters. I still didn't find a single ammo disk terminal. Maybe there was one in this room. Can't even remember what the what the original. It's not a GameCube. That's on the remake. You. You put discs into game cubes. But he, oh, sirs! Sirs! Four shells should be enough. Oh, three of them. Okay, three shells left. Let's stack them up. Sirs! Oh, shit! Four of them! Four shells, four zombies. I guess that's fair. Where's my head popping sound effect? Nothing special. Facts. To General Manager of Sanitation Division from Special Committee on Disasters, Raccoon Special Research Department. You formed that. You kind of expected this, didn't you? This memorandum is strictly confidential and must be destroyed as soon as it is understood. <laughs> uh, if you've ever seen Epic Movie, you know, when like, <laughs> when the main guy what was he, his, his name Edward uh, reads that uh, telegram it says this message will self-destruct in one second what <laughs> <laughs> please don't explode in my hands regarding the T-virus outbreak the T-virus outbreak which occurred recent outbreak which occurred recently this committee conducted a field survey According to the survey results, estimates on the amount of damage caused by the accident are considerably greater than reported earlier. Would you send some guy to go in there and ask zombies, what do you think about the destruction that turned you into an undead living thing? <laughs> First, although it is very difficult to obtain accurate data in terms of actual numbers, it is thought that more than half of the researchers 
died after the exposure to the T virus. The body count will most likely increase since nearly all of the survivors show symptoms peculiar to the T virus. Second, our security system is still in operation. However, our special security guard squad has been nearly destroyed. So it's like, it kind of evens out. <laughs> because of that, research information considered by our company to be top secret has been made available to outsiders. Because zombies got out with the information, countermeasures should be taken as soon as possible. Finally, many of the subjects from the experiments have escaped and are out of control. <laughs> Out of control, it just sounds to me like they're having a wild party in the courtyard. <laughs> oh my god, those zombies are out of control. We believe that some researchers were killed by these subjects and their bodies were mutilated. By curious coincidence, these events are proof of the success of our research. Yes, everybody's dead. However, there is also a very high risk that this news may be leaked to the press if we don't act immediately. The condition is very serious. Our operation to cover up the situation is difficult to attain. However, we hope the problem will be solved quickly. Our operation to cover up the situation. <laughs> we like rhyming like that. We are especially concerned that the state police and stars are in intervening too quickly. <laughs> Doing their job? You don't say. We need to act in this situation as well. The operation of the situation. <laughs> oh, God, that was a good document. That was one of the better ones. In the OG <laughs> Resident Evil. Exactly. Oh no, it says Excite 1998. Oh, what the fuck? Did I take the poster? It's just it's just ink ribbon. Okay. I thought she ripped the poster down. Cardboard and posters. Nothing very useful. <laughs> That's reserved for when Ch Chombi's out. When Zombie Chow is here. Most of them are fiction books. Oh, there we go. One ammo disc terminal. It's a passcode output machine. If I had a mail disk, I could get the code. The code from the mail. There we go. Passcode 01. Gotta love this. It's another, you know, example when you don't actually need to learn this. Genesis 2226. I don't know. because I can't read it. And I don't know the Bible verses on the top of my head, so... Whatever it says there, I can kind of see itself. I have too blurry. Oh, there we go. I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son. Genesis 22, 16. Chumbizal. <laughs> okay. Anything here? Macking special. Even if there is, we can live without it. At this point, what's the time? 30 minutes to IP switch. I doubt I'll make it, I'll finish it before the IP switch. But it's not an issue anymore. This isn't an online game. Okay, we're getting close to that save. It's been a while. Sirs, I already killed you for the love of ass. Kinda let's let's dupe him. I don't wanna fight you. I'm just gonna keep regenerating. It's not fair. That's one from the other side, but this one's with the prune key. Discard the prune key. Oh shit, I gotta reload my shotgun. As soon as I switch the doors, I didn't count the bullets, the shells, for a while. I'm gonna go save immediately and then do the rule the rest. Sir, please. I don't like your fashion, sir. She okay? Matt? Tessie Matt? What the Matt? Yeah, I can hear her. She's screaming like something's happening, but there's nothing. <laughs> the green herb I'm gonna leave the blue herb don't eat it 
This is new for me, guys. I never, I don't think I beat this game before without picking up a single item I found. You know, the items I found only. Yes, kid. Sounds like you're protesting something. Oh yeah, don't forget the ink ribbon. Uh. I'm gonna leave that. You know what, I'm gonna leave that as well for now. We got six acid rounds and ten flame rounds. It's gonna be more than enough for the end, okay? And I promise to save. Here we go. I owe you a save. The ring ribbon. There we go. There you go. You all saw it. It happened. Very close, very close. I think we're gonna witness one of the best cutscenes in the video game history. Are they gone? Is there another one here? I can't remember. Let's check. Nope. Oh, someone's dead here? No, that's just. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Sir, please. We're gonna do this bit. <laughs> I like how the sound was there before the door opened. We're gonna do this bit. Wait, are there chimeras here in the OG? I can't remember now. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep my weapon handy. I forgot how this works. Uh, in the remake, chimeras keep chasing you through the vents. Calm down, kitty. Let's go. Fight. Let's. Yes, the let's. No need to rip my skin off. Let's go. Fight. Fight. Bravo, Mats. Bravo. Bravo, Matsko. Yes. Yes, the bravo. Oh, God. She's so lovable, but she wants attention at the worst times. Oh, wait. What the fuck? This is new. Is it? I don't I don't remember this. Ah, I'm going to bet I need to push the boxes. Don't donate. I need to push the boxes on these. Was this a thing always? Could I have forgotten it? Yeah, I didn't play this part in years. So Oh shit 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 don't 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 get tricked. Hmm I'm gonna push this over here. It's, it's kind of distantly familiar. Has it been that long? I haven't finished the OGRE. Did I forgot about the puzzle? Am I getting old? I hope I'm doing this right. Oh god. Or maybe not. Maybe I should have pushed it. <clears throat> Don't step on that. All the way here. Nah, that wouldn't work. As far as it can go. Down a little. I think I got it. Just push that one all out of there. Make sure this thing doesn't touch the the, bo the the button. Go all the way around, Morty. Oh, there's a red herb here. I see a red herb. I'll be there in a zippy. Holy shit. We should, I guess, make a little more room.
I'm honestly surprised. Ah, I don't think that's how they intended it to be done. Here goes nothing. How is it escaping? I fixed it. Okay, I just saved, so I don't care. Yes. Oh! Oh god, it's filling the room. I honestly don't remember this. <laughs> Let's see, if I go back, is it still gonna be there? The poison gas at this point in the game? Am I poisoned? Oh no, I'm not. Good. Let's go back in. Hmm. So it's gone. Okay. Cadavers. Seems to be a morgue. Either that or they just kept a lot of corpses hanging around here. Anything else on the shelf? I'm gonna go back with an ammo disc here. And gonna grab that red herb. Let's not forget about that. That's pretty cool. My brain is just trying hard to remember if this was there before. Help me out, people. Was it there on the PlayStation version? Poison gas here? So ammo disc, two ammo discs. We're gonna run through the Chimera part as well. Thanks, sis. You have a good night. And thanks for being here. <laughs> Okay, let's grab it. Thank you very much. What the hell? Oh, okay, yeah, you gotta tell me when you wanna post links, bro, because uh, I gotta... I keep forgetting what's the... Okay, sis. Tomorrow? What's tomorrow? Wednesday? No, tomorrow's Friday. Yeah, okay, okay. Then no Chrono Cross, I guess. Because remember, I was gonna ask John to do that. Um... Permit. There we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cold Python. You have a good night. And thanks for everything. Mm. Mo discs. That's right. I'm gonna need both of those. I'm gonna grab one of those green herbs to mix it with a red. Actually, stop that. Stop doing that. Just fucking heal, mix and heal. You got so much health. There's no reason to save this. Ah, okay. 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 Yeah, it does that. David, was the poison thing always there? I can't remember. Because that would mean that it's been over 10 years since I finished the original Resident Evil 1. It's really eating me. <laughs> yeah man it's weird I kind of have a memory but and 
why did I solve it wrong? Curious. I'm going to look that up after the stream. Let's go fight the Chimeras. Why? Carter. Shotgun or flame rounds? Ah, shotgun. Chimeras are not too strong. The ammo disc. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do it on my way back. That's right. There's nothing here. Nothing interests me here. Except for the ammo disc for now. Oh shit, there's one. Ignore them for now. I should have checked the map though. Oh boy. Yeah, it's. I guess it's supposed to be a dissection room. Where's that? There it is. Passcode output machine. Passcode 3. And through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. Genesis 22, 18. So we kind of went 1, 3 and there we're going to be 2. Ah, suck it. Mutated fly. I think these things were inspired, inspired by the fly. The original one. Do I need to turn on the power for the elevator in this version? I don't remember really. I think I do. I think I didn't do that and I should have. Because I know you do that in a remake. You gotta carry the nitro. <laughs> don't run, don't shoot. <laughs> the fuck? Was it here? Yeah, it was here. Okay, we got code number three. Don't press it. It's not that kind of game. Uh, too bad at the thing I have in my pocket I didn't use right away. Okay, that gives us the passcode two. I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the cities of their enemies. This is... this sounds like the rap philosophy well the philosophy that wesker warped not rap <laughs> warped by resident evil 5 called Ver veronica already but in re5 but also like the warp philosophy of uh spencer Too bad for you, sir. I have faster legs. Okay, all three locks are open. Time to meet Chrissy. Why did there the lights, though? Why, why do they need to be transparent? I don't know. I wonder. Jill? Is that you, Jill? Oh, Chris, you're alive! Of course. Damn it, we're in quite a predicament, Jill. I know, Chris. Anyway, I have to open this room. Oh, I'm not even work. using my hands. Well, Chris, I'll be sure to come back and help you soon. Will you wait here? Thanks. I'll be waiting here for you. 
It's not like I can do anything else, Jill. I'm locked in a cell. <laughs> the door is tightly locked. Read the plaque. She's not gonna read the plaque, okay? Oh, the camera's there. There we go. Resistance. <laughs> That's foreshadowing for Resident Evil Resistance. I knew it. They planned it back in 1996. <laughs> Kitty. She's calm down. Okay, now that I did that. I'm gonna go turn the power on. Can I run through them? Fucking just run past them. Bye. And where is the power in the original? I'm just gonna run through all those chimeras and hope hope for the best. Yeah, that guy's there still there. I'm like 99.5% sure you, you need to turn the power on because it would be just too easy to run towards the boss. And I'm gonna bet the power is like... Oh, there it is. Still good. Turn, turn it on, then run away. Okay, it's starting time. Need, the, need those acid rounds. And the zombie disappears when you turn the power on. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Weird things. I remember. But then I don't remember the fucking poison box. Bring more health. I'm gonna say three health items will be enough, plus some acid rounds. I have to fight him twice, right? Bring both flame and acid. And all this health, and then. Yeah, that's it. Shotgun? Nah, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it. I'm not gonna need it now. Oh wait, sorry, my bad. There you go. Equip the bazooka. The bazooka. And say hi. To the ultimate... What was it? The ultimate bioweapon. The ultimate weapon. Whew. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Okay, that's in the remake, too. <laughs> oh, you got me, sir. I did not expect you there. Well, I got nothing else, so... Didn't I turn power on? Just now? Let's do it again. I guess I fucked up. Don't cut my head off, please, 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 I need my head. What, that's it? Then there gotta be another computer or something I'm missing. Zigzag, zigzag for your life. Is he gone? I, I really want to check that corner. I'm gonna check that corner, I'm taking too long. Oh, there's nothing in the corner, run. Yeah, it's gotta be in this room. Ew. 
Well, we'll have to do this more often. Also, where's the map of the laboratory? Oh, yeah, the computer. Was it the computer? Yeah, you get it on the computer. Um, so now right, then left. Yeah, that's the layout's almost identical. Miss me. Huh. Now I gotta press something here. That's right. That's right. That's it's actually the same as in the remake. I always forget about that step. Which side? Is it here? I think it's here. Yep, it's here. Power connection switch. The elevator power is off. Yes, connect. There we go. The power for the elevator is activated as the power supply and the circuit have been connected. Our job here is done. No chimeras here? I thought... I thought they'd come in here. This is the triggering system. I think, yeah, it's a triggering system. Activator. It's quite big. Oh, that... <laughs> that steam! I'm not as I'm not as confident as I am with all the games I play more often from the series. So, oh shit. So sometimes I wonder if I fucked up badly. Woo! It's good. Now we go face Comrade Tyrant. So a little left. Do it, Jill. Is that guy still there? No. That's when he disappears. Jill! Jill! You're here, too. Yes, you're here, too? Look, uh, Obviously, I lost my way. Both of you. Let's get going. There's, okay, there's no coming back now, so I help, hope I brought everything. Barry's in thinking mode. Wesker? You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about You're anything. bad. Because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. Oh, that's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mention mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry! Barry he walks away in shame. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? How come? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes. 
Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. But you just said... So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Oh. Barry! Sorry, Jill. How is your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. Mastermind, did you say? But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? The tyrant? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful biological weapon. Called Tyrant or something, I Or think. something. Do you think we could see Tyrant now? <laughs> Barry, well, he is out so cold. Optimistic. <laughs> it would look bad for stars if we let such a dangerous creature uh, run loose. Maybe you're right. Let's go then. <laughs> ah, I love it. Yeah, you know what? This dialogue is better than the remake one. <laughs> Let me show you the tyrant. Oh god, it's bad dithering. Yeah, it's it's great. I'm too bad Lupka had to miss this. Oh, uh, come on! Yeah, there we go. Two tyrants on Saturn is only in the battle game, right? I think. Yeah, they never made a tyrant with that thing over his face. Like, and how is it the heart pumping when that artery or vein clearly isn't connected? <laughs> the questions will always remain a mystery. <laughs> Can a creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Really? Wesker is a crazy man. Or cars, I can hear you. Tyrant is not completely developed. I'm just slow, guys. That's just me. But we can't let it live. Oh god, it's the IP switch. I forgot. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. Come on. Come on, stream. Oh, Barry. Reconnecting, here we go. Come on, reconnect. Damn you. Too bad I didn't... I should have looked at the clock. I waited a bit. Okay, we're back. Damn you! Damn you! Can you see it? Can you see the stream? The latency is lower than before, right? Since I changed the settings. Can you see that? It can't control what it does. It could kill me with one hit. Yeah, it was my IP switch. Oh shit. Don't let him hit you again. Oh, that was cheating. You didn't get me, boy. I can take another hit. Come on. Oh, can you can you go in circle here? Yeah, you can. This isn't the remake. Oh, fuck. Need a better need better view. Better camera angle. Yeah, I can keep doing this forever, almost. 
Okay, okay, okay. It's not that hard. Just keep at it. You dead, boy? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Let's check on Barry. Barry? Barry? Was there a document here? You're that was alive. in the remake too, right? Uh, uh, I'm really embarrassed. I was clumsy. No, don't come this Let's way. Get going. That's only with Chris, right? Or if Barry dies, yeah. I will need a heal. We'll use a double green. Looks like the control device for this room. Was there a document here? I'm fairly certain that's only in the remake, but... Rediscovery Ahoy! Yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> Don't worry. At this point, I would probably save even if, you know, I played the auto-aim version that loads perfectly. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing here in the OG. Okay, fuck it. We're out of you, Barry. Barry, my boy. Come this way. Come this way, Barry. What happened to Wesker? <laughs> Speak up, we can't hear you. Wesker must have set it off. There's not much time left. Why is it so muffled? Look, I had this, so I had the this lady's monologue as my Windows logout sound for years as a kid on my first computer. Whenever I would sh turn off my computer, it would go, The triggering system has now been activated. <laughs> All researchers. But now I can't hear her. <clears throat> whoa, 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 whoa. Save. Well, yeah, I don't. I'm just gonna. That, 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 that's it. Yeah, that's it. Just save here. Why didn't they give her the mic? I guess they put the mic on the opposite side of the room, and they told her, uh, "This is where you read this, record it." But you just hear. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> precious, just precious. Yeah, yeah, will do. Thanks. <laughs> so just, I'm gonna say just the Magnum will be enough. But just in case, I'm gonna bring the Bazooka. Because that's what we're calling it now, Bazooka. I think I'll need, like, a slot or two. Oh, this should be more than enough for him. All this unused shit. One more of these. And finally, the ink ribbon. Oh, yeah. Whoa, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, that... That's really concerning, the way she sounds. <laughs> Did you know about this, David? Because I didn't. I didn't know it sounds like this in the 7 version. <laughs> so it sounds like a Banjo Kazooie dialogue. The triggering system, lady. I barely hear her. Do you hear that? Instead of the triggering system has now been activated, I just hear. I mean, I know what she's saying, so I can understand it memory but 
If I didn't know, I would think it's someone just covered the microphone with a sock and trying to speak. Yeah, listen, it's just very quiet. I'll shut up. Wait, let me boost the volume. I know the game's... Here, I'll put the game for to 100 for a second. There she goes again. It's like an echo in the distance. What the hell is that? Can I go back to 50? <laughs> with me. Fix that, there you go. That's the that's the first. <laughs> Her boss is calling her. <laughs> Sorry lady, we put the microphone in another room, you'll have to speak up. Oh gee, I forgot about them. Oh, Jesus. I'm dead. I, I fucked around too much. Am I dead? <laughs> yeah, there, there's gonna be another case. Oh, I'll live. I'll be okay. I'll be I'll be pretty good. <laughs> I forgot the cameras are there. <laughs> I can't get over the, the muffled lady. We forgot the microphone in the closet. Actually, it's with the audio guy, you know. I knew we were missing something. Oh, well, I guess you just have to be loud. <laughs> uh, that's the things like this I love with these different versions. It's the first time for me I'm finishing the Saturn version. Any region. <laughs> Can you do it, game? Yeah, there you go. That's perfect. Jill! Sorry for keeping you waiting. Sorry so about that, everything babe. Is done? Well, almost, yes. Now let's go. Wait, I didn't check the room. I just figured out this year, first time ever in the remake, I went back into this room. And there's a there's a unique camera angle because you actually look through the surveillance camera. And uh I think there were shotgun shells or something. It wasn't important. The camera angle was important. Yeah, it's the same angle, only it's obvious in the remake that you're looking through a surveillance camera. Well, not here. Nothing important around here. So, really nothing to pick up. Okay. I just wanted to be sure. Chrissy was waiting here patiently. Come on, Chrissy, we have to go. <laughs> She's still at it. Still as muffled as ever. I'm gonna leave you now, Jill. Thanks for saying goodbye. I get they did this. Let's go. I get they did this, you know, A because of platform limitations and B to make the game scarier but it's kind of weird I just saved your ass and you're just gonna be like oh bye <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh not today sir some other day maybe but not today <laughs> Hey, wait, there should be pale heads here, right? Oh shit, they are actually headed equipped. I think pale heads should be here, not regular old zombies. How did you guys get here? I heard this is good for living things. He's still gonna be alive, so I gotta be quick. Oh, he's not. Okay. 
Sometimes they somehow live through a fucking flame round. Oh, Jesus Christ, really? We're just gonna sneak past you, sir. There was no need for that aggression. You could have just looked the other way. Thanks Let's for not go. killing anything, dick. Just zoom past them, left them for Jill to take care of. Okay, that that's the best time to use one of them red green herbs. Zoop. I think I need to leave one slot. I can't remember how it went in this version, so I'm just gonna leave it. Here, even explosive rounds. At least I'm not Chris. With six slots in the inventory. You can see we are in a hurry, so we want you to hurry. Talk to me. No, oh, they're not gonna talk to me. Come on, guys. Oh, you know what I didn't do? The only weapon I didn't check. Cold Python, Magnum Rounds. Oh, there was nothing to see. So. Barry's stuck a little. No, wait, is that Chris? No, that's Barry. He's got a python. There it is. I knew it. I knew it. I think it's two things in the remake. Apparently, we have batteries all over the place. So, like, the game could have been beaten in 30 minutes if they brought a battery. It's just a battery, right? Now I can move the elevator. Oh yeah, both of them are for ele elevators. Battery is pulled out. There's no reaction. It has no power. And we're gonna power this elevator with a 12... Let's say, even if it's a 24 volt battery, and I doubt it, because it's small. How do you power anything with a battery this small? Three minutes until explosion. That's a new enemy. Oh no, you must be kidding. After we've come all the way here. Ladies first. Go first, Jill. But Chris. Give me a chance to play nice guy. Okay, I leave it up to you. See you here at the heliport. My last run of the remake. Barry died at the Tyrant Battle. That was sad. I, ca I kind of assumed that's possible. Never seen it before. But then I was hesitating with a rock launch. Like, am I going to kill Barry? And then the tyrant killed him for me. <laughs> There's nothing else I could have done. Oh, it was so sad. Like, we made it all the way. It kind of made it real, too. We made it all the way. And, you know, he died at the very end. Just before the escape. It was sad, nonetheless. You can do it. Here we go. I guess it's loading a lot of shit. Okay, Saturn, don't, don't, don't betray me now, please. The flare. I can signal Brad with this. Well, let's do it. Okay, try not to die. Me, I know it's gonna be a lot harder to aim at him without uh, auto aim, but also the Magnum is like insta. It hits instantly. It doesn't have an arc or a range like uh, like the grenade launcher. I'm sorry, bazooka, bazooka. 
there he is. He's new at, you know, he's new at piloting helicopters. He's trying to, it's like me, piloting a chopper for the first time in San Andreas. <laughs> Oh, he looks different. He's more detailed? Oh, I hesitated. I should have shot him already. Three sh shots fired. Oh! So, turn. Fuck, I can't see shit. Oh, okay. He reset me. A whole level. Oh, my appendix. Oh, it hurts. Ooh. We're not gonna do a live reload here. This is too tricky. Oh, sir. That hurts. Get up. Get up. I'm oh, still fine and dandy, I guess. That's good. Ah! Left! Suck it, bitch! One of these days I'm gonna hit you. Mmm. I'm not gonna play. Oh god, you get. That's pretty cool, you get. You get iframes. Oh, I f that's my fault. I said I'm not gonna live reload, and I still did it. Come on, you can do it 59 seconds. I didn't know you can run out of time here. Ow! It hurts! Dick. I'm gonna save this one. Come on. There we go. That's what I need. Now I gotta not miss. I never did this. I never got this far without auto aim. What is he saying? I always hear him, you're an Amazon, Jill. I'm not an Amazon. I'm just a police officer. Oh, it's sweaty. I got four rockets. Okay, I can't really. If I lose here, I can't lose. You just can't. Here, I'm, I'll even heal. One shot can destroy any target. Ooh, GG. Here we go. <laughs> uh, let me put the controller down. I'm pretty sure there's nothing after this. We broke the can doll. <laughs> the scary can doll is broken. E. It's a milestone. Enjoy the endings, guys. The endings? The ending. There's one, for now. There's bread. Now that it's safe. <laughs> it's a lot harder with auto aim. It changes a lot, really. Especially with hunters and, uh, and the tyrant, the fast targets. If she doesn't turn towards them immediately, It's not easy. I don't know if we unlock the battle mode right away. We'll see at the end. After the credits, I'm sure. <laughs> Chopper in the sunrise. Oh boy. Still Dawn, yeah, Still Dawn is the ending theme. Ferrari 1, that's right. Is there a director's cut for the Saturn? I don't know if they ever did that.
Look what I, our game can do without pre-rendered backgrounds. Yeah, I don't think so too. Oh, that's pretty good. It's more than pretty good. It's fucking amazing. It's my childhood coming back to me. Such a good game for its time. We can, you know, we can have as much fun as we want with the voice acting, but 1996. I don't know how many games had voice, full voice acting, but it wasn't, you know, very few of them, very few. And I remember this blew my child mind. <laughs> These people talk all the time. No text nowadays. I'm old. I want to see subtitles, but back then, it's like, oh my god, they're talking. Was I doing? Uh, yeah. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Six forty-five. That's pretty cool, considering I was taking my sweet time. You got the special key. All right. Find closet. Gotta love that model at full frame rate. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna overwrite this one actually. Yeah, we're gonna start the next game from here. I'm gonna back this up on the what is it called? David the the cart. Um God damn it. Not retro arc, that's another thing. I mean the card, the cheat memory card card. Action replay on the fucking action replay. I'm gonna back it up. See see who we're gonna who we're gonna raid. Let's raid. Let's raid Dizzy. This is playing RE0. It's perfect. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for being here. We did it. We finished Resident Evil 1 OG on the channel. Just took us what, two years? Uh, 2020 was the first attempt didn't freeze well didn't fatally work till the end just perfect perfect again thanks everyone carter david thanks for dropping by lupka somewhere there in the sleepy land sexy westky and lagstorm gammy somewhere there at work whoever i whoever i forgotten no <laughs> I thought about you. Till next time, everyone. Say hi to Dizzy. I'll see you in the next stream. Bye.